there's any place that Wade actually matters in fifth edition. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys. So, uh, Pat. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Post scene to face place. I have to always be careful with this one because I don't want to fail to put the Twitch link in the comment. All. Work that hat. Work that hat. Also, uh, those of you who have Facebook or Twitter or other social media accounts, it is stronger for SEO if you do an original posting of the link yourself than if you just share or retweet. So if you feel the need or desire to do that, you can, just letting you know. Um, I am going to be popping off, but I hope all you beautiful people have a great time. Um, Thanks for inviting me. Hey, no problem. Anytime. Yeah, I'm very outside out of mind. If you don't explicitly ask me, there's a good chance I will forget about it. I'm all right. I um I made a post on Twitter, and uh I don't know if anyone's actually gonna join from it because like I have a bunch of followers, but I never use Twitter, so it's not like I have any reach. But I'll try posting it on Facebook because a few more people see my stuff there. Hearing what? Uh, lately, yeah. I'm I'm not even loaded in yet. I'm roll twenty is being super slow for me. Every, everything's being super slow for me ever since the power outage. I don't know what changed.
Yes. Um, I think because we don't have like a, a dedicated tank, I think maybe two clerics would be better than a cleric and a, a warlock. Because my warlock is very, very squishy, very squishy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Thinking. He's he's one hundred percent fighter class. Oh, oh no, it, it's super easy to mistake that one for a rogue. Yeah, I, I thought he was a, a fighter. I thought he was a fighter, because he's, he's always using... I thought he, he he's always using, like, second wind and, and uh, action surge. But yeah, because both of those are low-level fighter by... I mean, he, fighters, fighters don't really get that fighter. many, like... It's okay, yeah. Um, the like plus eleven to, to sleight of hand tends to confuse people. You guys have pirate problems? Did you guys hire pirates? Kaizen is just uh Kaizen is just mouthing um speechless. Yes. Um. So. Yeah, Lev totally has that look as well. It's just like, what is happening? Um. You know, person. I'll go with um with Festus. Why not? Just kind of like walk around. I walk around like I like something. The Sea Spire. I. Yeah, I've also I've also seen it on your Facebook page. I'm pretty sure. What? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's like the it's like the Necronomicon.
coast of Bankstein. Yeah. All right, update. Well, this should be interesting. I'm in. I mean, obviously, I'm going. I'm going. Yeah, let's 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 head out. Or he's let's blow himself. this popsicle thing. Let's get out of here. Oh, well, lies and slander. Lies and slander. Totally unpacked oh, rumors. Yo, there's two debt loads. I mean, probably, maybe, I don't know. They have, they have the same debt love. Advanced form technology. I told you, it's easy to mistake them for a rogue. Yeah. I mean, depending on what they look like.
No, not really. I'm still on the map. I'm sorry. Sorry, Pat, we are on a... Sorry, Pat, we're on a black screen, or at least I'm on a black screen right now. Whoa, where are we? No, I think Oh, thinking. there we are. Right at the bottom. I have sight. I see us. I see us. It's at the bottom. It's all the way at the bottom. I have sight, and this house seems strangely familiar. I definitely see things. I could have already seen things. I vaguely recall Cheetos. The, the glutton demon. The Glutton Demon was under Stall Shrine. Yeah. Glutton. I mean, he might have great demons under his house. He doesn't. Hopefully, one of them. I hear somebody saying test reply in chat. I'm not watching chat. I'm also not watching, watching chat. chat. I am kind of watching chat. I will start. Apparently, someone's only hearing one or two people. I, I don't even know what the, what the Twitch setup looks like right now, so for all I know, they're just seeing Pat and they have no they idea how many of us are see, here. Yeah, they are only seeing me. There are three people in the chat, so there you should be hearing technically four voices. Um, let's see. Desktop audio. I'm hearing everybody, so you guys should be hearing everybody, is how I'm led to understand this works. I, I can't even tell. Everything's so slow on my end right now that I don't oh. even bring up Twitch to find out. 
Sleepless Slade is hearing more people now. Excellent, excellent. Sorry about that. Um, so anyway, let me just you know uh, scooch myself further. Um, we, uh, you are informed that uh, there is a dinghy which has um, some kind of ruffian sailor types who are uh, working for money provided by Jan Sonato to uh, do the I job like of to the job of making sure that there is no uh, piratical incursion upon the cove. Yes, that would be the dinghy upon the cove that um, is situated beneath Jan Sonato's cliff face house. Um, which, of course, is technically uh, the former home of uh, another pirate. So, you know, pirates have been using this place uh, for much longer than Jan Sonato has. However, it is his property, and therefore he does not want them under it. Uh, so he hired some people to stay outside to make sure that they didn't enter. However, they did a shit job, and there's clearly pirate activity on the inside once more. Those of you who were here previously learned that um, there might be some sort of treasure hidden underneath the house in the deepest, darkest, dankest parts of the cove. However, you also were informed, those of you who attended uh, the last session, which is two of you and not Herr Detlev, but Herr Detlev is, you know, man about town, learns things pretty well, uh, pretty quickly. You would have been informed that uh, there is likely to be further piratical incursions. Um, there's an organization of sea captains who are looking to make Freistad their newest prey. And, uh, you know, Jan Sonato feels as though the pirates that are presumably underneath the cove are affiliated with this group of pirates that's incurring or that's um right. harassing cave the ships. pirates let's go kill things yes well if that is how you mean to progress there is a cove over here Jan uh does say that um should you need to use the dinghy i'm sure the uh the kind gentleman that we hired to man it would be uh, amenable to you employing it. It is not very well equipped in terms of armament as it is uh, left over from my trade fleet. However, uh, it does have a harpoon gun in case you want to use it. Please do not sink it. Hmm. <clears throat> so with that, he... Gestures to the cave that you all know is there now. And uh, he just kind of stands there looking at you like... Chop, chop! <laughs> as if as if he owns you. But he, he means it well. <laughs> as well as that could be meant. I'm assuming, does everybody go into the cave, or do they confront Jan Sonato on his terrible people skills? It's gonna... I think his terrible people skills are beside the point. Like, we already know he's, like, not a very good person. Let's just go into the cave and... <laughs> uh, I'll put it him and start walking away, still facing him, just... As soon as I get away from, like, a decent way, I just wind chime my armor and turn around. Nice. So you guys can already hear from uh, from the cave. There's clearly an argument going on down there. Ooh. You hear a woman's voice berating uh, a couple men, and uh, you hear some groaning and some uh, some. Uh, rather crude language sailorly language one might go so far as to say <clears throat> that's probably them um uh, so uh Fesses, i don't remember if you uh 
remember my entrance last time, but do you think we should uh, sneak and I should hold back a little bit? That sounds good. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll a stealth. I will, I will attempt just, a stealth. I will just walk in as if I'm a pirate. That's not a bad well, idea. <laughs> I mean, come on, he's drunk enough, and I don't know where these dirty rumors are coming from about him being some sort of criminal, but... Mm. Well, those are some terrible stealth rolls, I'm just gonna throw that out yeah. there. They are. <laughs> very bad, very bad. So, um, I'm assuming you guys are gonna try sneaking, and, uh... That's gonna be interesting. Try an air quote. So, um, yeah. everybody, please line up. Uh, uh, hair Dell, you're you're gonna walk, s saunter, uh, s oh, swagger oh, yeah. in. Just full full Johnny Depp off the dock. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, li everybody, line up behind uh, Hair Dell Love as you would. I was gonna be like five, ten feet away from the last person, just cause wind chimes. Okay. Yes. Oh yeah, right. You do have wind chimes as like an a suit of armor. You should really roll at disadvantage, but I'm nice. <laughs> I mean, I can roll at disadvantage if you like for comedic effect. Um. Cause there's a yeah, good chance no. I'll get a better roll. Please, please do, please do. <laughs> for those of you in the audience, he's a wind genasi. I got the same. Time armor. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, no, that that makes way too much sense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. See, this is getting fun. This is getting fun. Now, uh, previously we've been using like creepy cave music to represent the inside of this cave, but I think I've gathered some new music that might be more suitable. Hmm. Oh my god, I am I am hoping for Shanty. It's 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 fun to be friends with friends. Uh, I'm wondering <laughs> if um Sea Shanty 2 from RuneScape is royalty free. Holy shit, that would be great. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up really quick. Cause that would be like the best soundtrack to this episode. So, you saunter into the sea cave, having been here before, most of you. Actually, let me see, is there... Yeah, let me go ahead and continue with this, with the creepy music, but I will get back to using, um, using the jaunty, epic music. Right, I'm gonna continue playing creepy music from inside of the cave. Seems more thematic to me. I hope you guys don't accuse me of uh, being too uh, too non-spontaneous. So, two of you know your way around here somewhat decently. Hair debt love, you've been here once, maybe. Were you here the first time? Uh, what was the first time? When you saved the girl from the cave? Oh, yes. And she was talking to the glowy thing. Yeah! People kept trying the pet things that were clearly poisonous. Exactly. Okay, so all of you have technically been here. Yep. The noise is coming from over uh, down this way, and you can actually see, I think, um, let me just actually uh, shift L you real quick so that I can see what you see. Oops, sorry, I moved you accidentally. Or, go on out. Yeah, okay, you can't... All right, you can't quite see it, but you can definitely hear. Basically, in this room, there's an argument between uh, between a lady and four... four uh, grunting uh, ship hands. How would you like to progress? Towards the noise, through the hallways. 
you know that you can get get to there by going this way, more or less. Yes. Well, I'll I'll go like here until you say otherwise. Thank you. Um, Elizabeth and I don't, Shen. I'll just wander up ahead. I appreciate and... you. I appreciate you. Hey, I'm not I'm not super guilty of that these days. <laughs> these days. I've learned from my last time. Anyway though. Um, those of you who would like to follow Herr Detlev may. Otherwise, you can choose to stay back and Herr Detlev can join uh, the pirate crew of his own accord. Uh, yeah, he, knowing... carries, he carries himself with the undeserved confidence of a drunk. So. Very piratical. I'm going to give you advantage on any bluff checks to insinuate that you are in fact a pirate. Because you basically are. <laughs> You're just not super like nautical. Privateer. Savvy. Oh, uh, I don't know. My expectation for my character is uh, roll a stealth, but never actually stealthing. So I'm gonna stay close to the person who's not attempting to stealth. That's fair. And uh, Elizabeth, are you there, darling? <clears throat> Let's see. Hang on. Oh, Elizabeth is just straight up not in the chat. The fuck? Oh, uh, connection one, I guess. Hmm. We will assume that she stays quote unquote in stealth. She'll probably be back. I hope she comes back. Anyway. She's not in the... World 20 either. Maybe she had a computer crash or something. That, that would be highly unfortunate. Anyway though. Um, I will progress this further because she did indicate that she was intending to stay stealth. All right, Herr Detlev, I will allow you to negotiate. I, I would not be remotely surprised if they got some sort of advantage for, like, stealthing while out of sight and behind me. But I imagine that I will I will very intentionally be hogging all the attention. I'm gonna, yeah. Oh, I'm don't you worry. See. She's definitely not seen here, for sure. And should she so choose to re-roll stealth, I would definitely give her advantage. On account of, you guys are very, very public with your actions. <clears throat> she would not be simply. Okay. So you we'll guys... We'll get like, this far. Yeah, so you guys get this far. Oh no. Alright, she's saying that her internet cut out. Um, I'm just gonna let her join uh, as she would like. Restarting her laptop. Okay, that makes sense. You see, um, some of those... Uh, some of those ruffians of the waves that you encountered earlier, those of you who came down this way earlier, uh, you know, they look disgruntled, they look, uh, like they're very good at, you know, hauling things and pulling on ropes and tying knots and, you know, following orders, but, uh, they're not, they're not the leaderly type. This lady, however, she looks like she's very... Fierce. And she is directing them to do something that they uh, do not want to do. She yells. Do we, do we hear what it is? She yells. The bodies, you moron! Haul the bodies into the boats! <clears throat> Captain's orders. One of them says, I know this guy! He was a good man. He shouldn't be fed to them like some sort of pig. She says, We're all pigs in the end, moron. Put them in the bot put the bodies in the boat as tribute. Or I'll put you in the boat as tribute.
And then she sees you. Do I do I see bodies? There are dead bodies here from the last time adventurers were in the cove. Oh, here is here is below where I am right now, eh? Uh, oh yeah, no, there, there. Like where? There's some. Oh yeah, no, sorry. There, there's some. Yeah, there, there's some bodies. You, you probably elevation have to change. Yeah. L or control L. Yeah. So you would know that there's like kind of a, uh, a side portion over here with like a little bit of a canal. There was a fight that went on here. You can see signs of that, or um, you know, you could be one of the people that was engaged in the fight. <laughs> and just kind of inherently know that there were bodies left here. Um, and uh, you would you would see that these uh, these ruffians are kind of like arguing over whether they they can bear to uh, to uh, give the dead bodies as tribute to something. So Pat, I currently I don't mean, see this, but would I recognize any of the bodies when I do get a look at them? Yes, the bodies are uh, the same as those that, that were killed earlier. Okay. I'm assuming you guys left them, and these guys are cleaning up in probably a terrible way. Yeah, that's not fair. I mean, I'll be honest, I have, I have no problem you know, giving these bodies to whatever it is as tribute, so... I mean... Why the heck not? No one's dead. asking me who I am, it, so... It was my sister, he's... His logic is the dead don't care. Have you checked my computer died? I didn't die, uh... The, um, Wi-Fi cut out real bad. So, like, I'm not even gonna, like, say anything. I'm just gonna, like, yeah, sure, body. Yeah, if I can reach one, I'll start going about my business as if I'm totally meant to be there. Hmm. Okay. Be surprised how often this works in real life, too. Uh, so not that I know with bodies, but in general, I mean, like, ending you're meant to be there. Yeah, she, she looks at you and she says, You there! You're not one of Jasper's men. Who are you? Just another hand, hoping for some work. Did one of the other pirate lords send you? I mean, not that I can remember. So you work for Jasper? Is that the flat, fat one with the mustache? The fat one with the mustache. No. But again, Joy is constantly being drunk because people don't generally question or not yet whether you have any idea what you're talking about. You're not telling me that one of the fucking salt dwarves brought you on? God, they're such rude people. Well, get the fuck over here and do your damn job. Man. From behind, I wave. I'm here too. Ugh. What even are you? What the hell do the salt dwarves do anyway? He's a friend. Do you do that? I am uh, carry bodies. That? Yeah. That's my introduction. She, she says, okay, okay. How many people are there that the salt dwarves brought <laughs> on? Uh, I look back and start mimicking counting and say, just three. I'm gonna need a um, I'm gonna need a persuasion roll or a block. Sorry, a deception roll from whomever would like to roll it in the party. But only one. Only one. It's probably not me. <laughs> I mean, my charisma was plus two. Okay. I have a. Oh wait, wait. Is this is this a deception roll to pretend I'm somebody I am not? Yes. Because I get advantage for that due to my background. Ooh. I get plus four in deception. So you get a plus I got a four. Big zero. However, and yeah, and Shin gets a plus zero, but Detlev gets a plus two and okay. advantage. And oh. Okay, I trust that more than uh, 
I'm going to give four. you a circumstantial plus one because you look like a pirate already. And certainly act like one. So that would be 18 in total then. And 18 cuts the jib. <clears throat> she looks you over. And she decides she doesn't particularly care. Whether you were hired by the salt dwarves or what you are or what you're doing here or yeah. why she didn't see Why would I do the job? I don't see why she would, yeah. And she says, all right, all right, all right. We'll get the fucking work. We're taking these bodies back to Jasper as tribute, like he requested. <clears throat> We're going to ensure that the harpies favor us for years to come. Ooh, Jasper's got wonderful, wonderful plans. So get to fucking work. Do you guys I get to work? Yeah, do you guys get to work? Falling dead bodies onto onto Dougie. I don't know about these two, but Dead Lives just like, yeah, they're already dead. Why not learn yeah, no. things this way? These guys look at you like, how could you do this? I'm literally gonna feed the dead bodies to the harpies. This makes me sick. I mean, better them than me. They don't care. They're dead. This guy says, I remember when I worked for another pirate captain. We didn't feed the harpies or worship demons. I just wanted to give us gold. Jasper makes me... Uh, you know, give him a heebie-jeebie. And she says, I don't so, give a shit if I you won't. have the heebie-jeebies. You'll do what you're told to get, or you'll get keel haul. <clears throat> so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll start prepping for for combat here in a very subtle way by offering the referent ruffian some bull hoop. Oh my. But when combat does come around, they are screwed. You know what that stuff does. This guy right here? Oh, uh, any of the, the nearby ruffians, yeah. Oh shit, wait, are you just gonna give everybody a, a little sip of null hooch? I mean, I we have so much of it back at the Charters and such, yeah, why not? Well, the swash I mean, as long as I'm respectfully takes a sip, but she doesn't get drunk. As long as I'm doing the work, I don't imagine she cares, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The ruffians, however, they all... They all imbibe heavily. <clears throat> so, anybody who wants to carry dead bodies would uh, would be uh, would be kind of like on this side of things right here. -ish. Actually, you probably can't see me pinging. Boop, boop, boop. You can see people pinging if they're if it's out of uh, line of sight. Oh, good point. Good so point. if I if I like ping in the wall here, I can see that. Uh, I assume other people can too. Yep. So, um, those who are hauling dead bodies are taking them from, like, here, here, you know, I, th I think there might have been one over here. I've literally already removed them from the map, though, and they would be putting them in this canoe. Or, uh, rowboat. Alright. I will be struggling really hard with my eight strength. <laughs> I will be struggling hard with my eight strength, but also assisting myself by casting mage hands to, um, Amazing. like, help drag the bodies. Yeah. But if you both perform the help action to do so, <laughs> you can just, like, assist each other and drag a body yeah. two at a time. Hey! God, I, lo I love the help action. The ruffians kind of get really drunk on the on the hooch, because they were already a little bit drunk before, and they're just kind of walking around in the, in the water here, you know, kind of very, very sadly attempting to carry the bodies, or, like, you know, crying or consoling themselves or doing whatever. Whatever they intended on doing otherwise. Oh, meanwhile, yeah. Amateurs. Meanwhile, Amateurs. You gotta hold that, like, that constant buzz. Exactly, exactly. The swashbuckler looks at you and she's like, Alright, alright. Swash, the, uh, the, the salt doors brought on some good men. Clearly you guys know what you're doing. It's a positive change. <laughs> I, 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 quite, I quite like it, in fact. See, Jasper brings on all sorts of random types, intending to make them stronger and uh, winnowing out the weak. You guys clearly are going to stay 
do the next telling. Because you're doing your damn jobs, unlike these fools. I mean, these guys are trying. But the dedication is not quite there. Mm. The dedication's not there, the spirit's not there, and. <laughs> Between you and me, their heads won't be there. Jasper gets word of their incompetence. <laughs> Where will the heads go? <laughs> the harpies, of course! <laughs> they too sell love, devouring man flesh, as they put it. Sounds like my ex-wife. Mm. <laughs> Sounds like mine, too. Anyway. I like this one. Carry on, carry on. So, um, assuming you decide to help, it doesn't actually take all that long to get the bodies in the rowboats. They're heading back to the captain's ship. Ooh. And after an hour of making sure that all the barrels and uh, bodies and personal items of the previous crew that was here have found their way into one of the rowboats, they would depart. Would you join them? Yes. I'm gonna join the pirate crew. She says... I'm joining the pirate crew. Now, oh. You didn't happen to bring a boat with you, did you? Uh... I was just told to kill stuff, move stuff. So we only have the two boats. Give it a whole lot. Because there's no boat like rowboat. Guys... Wasn't there one outside when we came in? Wasn't there that is... like a dinghy we could employ? It is... There's one right here. Well, these, these are their boats. So there is oh. a dinghy it's... outside. It is manned by privateers. They might recognize. How do uh -oh. you even get it in? Here, how are they even gonna get these boats out? Okay, I, can this, I tell her that I'm gonna go out and prepare our vessel? Ah. I would like to let her know that we're gonna go- I'm- that I'm specifically gonna go out and prepare our vessel. And I'm gonna leave ahead of, um, Herr Detlev and, um... Kaizen? Kaizen. And tell the privateers to leave the boat so that they're not there when, um, we leave with the pirates. Okay. Um... I'm going to need a persuasion check, and failing that, an intimidation check. Do you have Oh, advantage? I rolled with advantage by accident. I'm not giving you advantage. Would you like me to roll intimidation? Yes. Bruh, I have a plus seven in intimidation. I'm so sad. So, the, the people in the dinghy, who look a lot like this, they would say, You're doing what with our ship? You're doing what with our ship? No. How no, many are there? No. How many are there? There's six. Six of them? In a boat this size? It's actually a bit bigger than these. I mean, I've been a dragon boat racer. You'd be surprised how many people you can fit a boat like that. Yeah, no, it's actually, it's, it's honestly, if I were to say, it's like literally twice the size of that. So it's more like. Yeah. I mean, she just said it was a dinghy, which is almost like a full on small ship versus these, which look like rowboats. Yeah, no, it, okay. is, it is a proper, it is a proper dinghy. Uh, it was just right. sized poorly because it was perspective wise. Okay, okay. You could just, like, scoot up the hills where the guy lives be like, Listen, these buggers in the boat need to screw off. Tell them to go away. It is true. Would you like to, uh... Would you like to call in a favor from Yon Sonata? I would. Okay. 
if possible. Yeah. Yep, you just take an extra half an hour, but uh, you clear the ship out, and uh, in the meantime... Yeah, I absolutely can keep these people busy for a half hour, so... Yeah, she, she's like getting impatient. How would you like to keep them busy? Well, the uh, the the ruffians are already drunk. Mm -hmm. They definitely so, are. So you know, keeping them keeping them busy isn't too hard. Uh, if you were to describe this woman's charisma level, what would you say it's at? Because I have a bond that I'm trying to to, to meet for role play purposes. I would say she has a charisma of like sixteen. She's oh, there a little you go, rough, there you go. but she's very pretty and she's very fierce and intimidating. Well, she I'll, has I'll go an full on. To her. I'll go full on bard with this then. Ooh. How would you? I don't know what. What would I even roll for that? I don't... Well, I mean, what are you trying to persuasion? Do? I guess. What are you trying to do. Yeah. Uh, I'm going full on bard, so flirt. I don't know. Um... Okay. Yeah, well, give me a. Uh... Well, all right. So describe how you would like to flirt because I will make it whatever role oh, I have seems. I no good. idea. Are you kidding? How would he like to. <laughs> so she, she's you ever clearly see on... a pirate. She likes doing pirate things. So, I don't know. She's not a good guy. You know, she's not, she's not also. Uh, Either is Detlav, right? So, like, I don't know. Well, how would Detlev flirt, then? With somebody much like himself. But female. That's a very good question that I, as a player, don't have a good answer for. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I've never had to consider it, really, right? Like, uh... What do you have best? Uh, intimidation, persuasion, or deception? Uh, Deception. You do not get advantage for pretending to be someone other than yourself. Still deception? Uh, normal. Oof. Ooh. I will spend one of my luckies. I will spend one of my luckies. Go for it. So you're trying to flirt with her, right? <laughs> yes. With deception? I hate it. like I'm just rolling with the DM says to roll. Honestly, I don't know. Okay. What this is honestly pretty accurate at the time. <laughs> yes. Okay. Wow. All right. All right. All right. What do you tell her? She's she um she's clearly interested in you, right? She likes she likes a man who does his job and who does it well. That. Why settle for being a pirate captain when she could become a pirate queen? Mm. She says, I've considered it, but I haven't had the means to achieve such a thing. Are you offering some? I could use some hands that know what they're doing. <laughs> Jeez. Hands and money and deception, I got all three. Money? Just need a boat now. Hands? I've got the boat. No. <clears throat> I will have the boat. Very soon. Sounds like it's a match made in booze. Indeed. I'm gonna Roll chime me. in and say, and a friend! She, she looks at you like, mm, okay, maybe next time, but, uh, you know. <laughs> I mean, you, get, you, have, you have too many on a Friday night, right? You wake up and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a second guy in the bed, whatever, it happens to all no, of us. She, she, she's clearly not uninterested, but uh, I might have you make your own role for that if that's what you're playing at. <laughs> No, I'm literally and a just, friend. And a friend. I'm literally that guy in the corner that comes in every so often. It's like, yeah, I exist. All right, I'm backing out now. <laughs> you're you're like uh, you're like Bo when she rock flirts with all the oh. girls. She's <laughs> like KG. Yeah. Okay. So you know what? Um, of, of tenacious D. 
All right, so I'm I'm gonna say she's she's clearly she's clearly interested in you, and she continues flirting with you, and you know, maybe other things if that's what you're angling at. But um, you do. There you go. I bought you a half hour. You do get plenty of time. So <clears throat> they are not uh. What? You know, they're not shook us by the fact that you're taking time, and you guys get to bring your dinghy. She says. And the uh, boat that was outside. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when when um when Elizabeth comes back, uh, she she would say, "All right, well, here's two new friends," and she would take a, a sip of the hooch <clears throat> that you were offering earlier, a hearty one this time, and. She would command her crew to return to Jasper's, um, you know, Jasper's, uh, sea, uh, what am I trying to say here? The flagship. That's Boat. it. Flagship. <clears throat> return Boat. to Jasper's flagship. With, uh, the bodies and the barrels and the booze and the bounty. Both monetary and otherwise. <laughs> so your three ships leave the cove and or the coast, and you move closer to the sea. Something akin to. Let me see. Let me just grab something real quick. Create a page. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move that over here. Nope, 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 okay, whatever. Heck, sandwiches. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> this is terrible. This is the worst map I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Blue. It the blue map. Double D, double die. I accidentally exited the um, the world twenty. Give me one sec to get back. I always accidentally might click my English to French uh, guide that I put in my uh, toolbar when I was like fucking fifth fifth grade. <laughs> Do I have the thing? In my I don't know why, but somehow clicking one's English to French guide sounds like some sort of euphemism. Oh, I it don't is not know a euphemism, why. it's just bad. Oh no, I know it isn't, it's just like, for some reason it sounds like one, and I have no idea why. Mm. More anglais it's like one of those things you would hear on, like, Mystery Theater 3000. Did you say, mystery, followed by the word, theater? My favorite three things! And then 3000, yes. My goodness. How exotic. Got puppets. They sit in front of a screen. Wait, is Mystery Theater Guide 3... Or Mystery Theater 3000 a, a puppet show? In, insofar as these puppets watch movies with a guy and make fun of the movie, yes. Interesting. I did not actually know that. So, do any of you know how to sail? Um, I know how to sail faster. Wait, what? How, how do I mean, no. my background isn't in sailing, but I do have a watercraft and landcraft dual proficiencies, so yes. Yes, that is in fact exactly what I was asking. Sorry, not watercraft, water vehicle, apparently. Yeah, that, 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 that'll do it. Okay, so you guys see everything I've been laying down, right? You guys see all the ships and stuff? Yep. Cool. Yes, we need to roll, huh? Yes, please roll. Uh, oh, that is excellent. That is a good roll. You are competent. And uh, the, the woman who's captaining the other ship admires such competency. 
be honest, there's, like, there's no reason Detlav is good at, like, any of the things he does, especially since he's drunk all the time. <laughs> well, clearly he has... He's, he's just that one guy from college that everybody went to, where, like, he passes all the classes, even though nobody remembers him ever being there. <laughs> I know who that is! Oh, I know that so Because well. we all went to school with one. We all did. It is true. Okay, I'm popping all of you guys out here in the, um, you know, in the ship area. So please arrange yourselves on the ships as would be. I'll be somewhere behind the mast. Just, you know, not really making significant wind, but like, you know, just changing the current of air just right around me towards the sail. Nice, nice. Yeah. Um, do you have to roll anything for that, or is that just kind of an inherent thing you can do? That's actually not a thing that's explicitly stated. I'm just Something saying, I just oh, assume as a air genasi that Definitely. I have innate control of air just directly around me. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. But mechanically, it doesn't specify anything. That makes perfect sense to me. That's what I said, like, insignificant amount of air. Okay. So, you guys are going to continue forward. And as you do, you, uh, you notice that the tide had, uh, had been low. But it is getting higher. And the ship to which you are sailing is moving closer and closer to the spire on which you know harpies to reside harpies insofar as you are aware are indiscriminate killers of uh people in general do you ask why that ship would be so friendly with harpies i mean personally now nah, i've seen some of the people i hang out with i can't judge Else, even remotely interested? Not really. I'd be infatuated with the idea of um, the harpies being friendly, but mm. not enough to like ask around. Well, it's probably for the best. Asking questions gets one kill after all, right? Barely certain it's the only reason this character is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. However, I would say our warlock friend, uh, our warlock friend might be the type to ask questions, but I don't know. I don't know enough about Wait, our warlock I friend. Didn't, I didn't hear this. Oh, yeah. So, I was tabbed out and, and spacing out, sorry. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Um, I was saying that uh, there are, uh, the, sorry, the, the large ship towards which you are heading, the pirate ship, is um, moving closer to the sea spire on which you know uh, harpies to reside. Harpies being mm. presumably uh, indiscriminate killers. Um, you wonder why they would uh, not be indiscriminately killing the crew of this ship. Well, probably because we're bringing them bodies. Food. Mm. That is a good point. But, um, <laughs> I, will, I will be on my guard because the harpies are not nice creatures, so, like, if they, like, they this seems like it's a really good opportunity for the harpies to just get a lot of food. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Uh, including the pirates. So, I don't know. Thinking. All I can say is I'm hoping for, at some point in this episode, I am the wind, and then fireball. <laughs> Interesting. I do not have any fireballs, I'm sorry. I, I, have, I have myriads of booze on me and several means of fire, so I'm sure it matters. Oh, okay, yeah, that's, that's good enough. At, at no point does this character not have, like, two bottles of alcohol. <laughs> 
Um, so let me see. To, to be fair, his alter uh, alter ego, his, his like alias that comes from his background, is like a booze merchant, so. Hmm. That's good to know, actually. Uh, so, uh, you guys approach the ship. The, um, so y you learned, by the way, the swashbuckler with whom you've been flirting and put... Uh, uh, potentially doing other things than flirting with. Um, her name is Sheila. She gives you no other name. Um, and you guys are approaching Jasper's flagship. She would refer, of course, to Jasper as Sea Lord Jasper. And uh, you can surmise that Sea Lord Jasper is some sort of fleet captain. Somebody who's in charge of multiple ships. Can I roll like a history? That, that's called or an something? admiral. Mm, yes, that's what I need to say. Yes, an admiral. You may roll a uh, an history roll, should you so choose. I would like to do Let me take a look at my ego roll. That is a 14. Okay. Um, you have, you have actually heard of, with a 14, you yeah. heard of Sea Lord Jasper. He's a terror on the seas. He uh, typically does not kill immediately those that he captures. Generally. He takes them places or offers them a position amongst his crew. Those who do well in his crew typically become pirates themselves. <clears throat> Those who do not take up his offer or who serve him poorly, we are never heard of again. Uh, With a 14 history, that's oh. all you know. I wasn't planning to retire this character, but the way this session is going so far, piracy's sounding more and more likely. <laughs> That's interesting. I don't know that you'll make Maybe it we could have like a splinter group where we all become pirates. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Lee's gonna hate me if I ruin this for him. <laughs> Everybody here becomes pirates. <laughs> well, I am a ritter. I am a ritter, and therefore technically a lord. True. So if I become a pirate, pirate lord. Ooh. <laughs> Bruh. You could, you could rival Jasper himself. <laughs> so, your ship. Would it say you're a ritter? Nope. Is that just like. It's, oh, a, it's like some jump. sort of title for like a, a noble knight. Oh, okay. It, yeah, it's know, basically a samurai. Why. Yeah. Okay, wait. <laughs> Everything is white now. Uh, We're in the void. And... I'm, I'm basically some form of nobility. I don't know why. Well, I know why. I just don't know, like, at what level. I basically stole it. Yes, I think you did. What? Harry <laughs> Detlev stealing something? Never. Never. Lies and slander no has never been proven. He would never do anything like that. He yeah. has never been proven. So you guys move closer and closer and closer to the ship. And you, you finally do see it. Uh, rather. And you've already seen it, but... You see... Those... Tall masts and those... Dark black sails as the ship slowly but surely moves towards the sea spire and then you get the inclination that the tunes just as the wind are about to change no more uh, excuse me i'm sorry for yawning let's get some more of this I think the first time that's like all introduction. 
Yarr, 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 I'm very interested in seeing where that goes. Uh, no, no, I'm saying don't discount the ship ship combat yet. Well, you guys are in a dinghy. Arr, my dinghy. <laughs> Your opponents might not be in a dinghy. I think they're in a large, larger ship from what I can see at the corner it of my screen. It is quite large. Let me just Yes, just wait until we're on it. Wait, by the way, is 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 the uh, the harpoon gun on the ship like a particularly heavy harpoon gun? You cannot take it off of the ship. Oh, okay. It was worth a shot. It is. Okay. I think I can just grab all of you now. Oh, the letter conk. Wrong lever! Yeah, actually, it was the right lever. But <laughs> why do I even have that lever? You board a very large and very fancy ship. When you say fancy ship, does it not look like a pirate ship, but more of like a noble vessel that's been stolen? It looks like a merchant vessel that's been stolen and retrofitted for the purposes of war. Oh. The lady that you've known as Sheila welcomes you. Welcome. Hardens. The sirens go. We're about to see those sirens that scorned our cap, our uh, good admiral Jasper. And we're gonna feed them tribute, as is demanded of us. <sighs> to tribute, she says, raising a horn. Yar. The uh, cannoneers and the ruffians all raise their horns in light, shouting to tribute. And hearing this, a shadowy figure emerges from the captain's uh, captain's room. He looks through over with his one good eye. And he says, And before he takes his place atop the tower of the ship. Uh, Kaizen, like a second too late to the the tribute cheer, just raises both hands like yeah, just wind chime armor flowing. And just a friend. second too late to be with everyone else. Roll me, um, roll me deception real quick. No advantage or anything. I don't need advantage. I already have a zero. Oh. <laughs> Oh, maybe, maybe, can I retract that statement real quick? No, no, oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you, a second too late with your wind chimes uh, flowing in the breeze that you probably created. He looks at you. He stares at you very intently. He says... Can I use the help action? Welcome <laughs> I'm not sure I caught your name. And no, you may not. 
<laughs> I know, I was, <laughs> I was memeing because that has come up so many times now. Good attempt, but um, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, let's, I guess I scream across the ship like, yeah, my name is Kai Zen. Trying to think of a different name, but says his name anyways. Well, 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 well. Kai Zen. Who was it? I take it you're new here. Kind of look around, like, uh, yeah. Maybe time I showed you the ropes. And I don't just mean those that hold our sails together. The crew would really Why forcibly laugh. Why teach me to be your second? With you. The crew would really forcibly laugh. <laughs> I Maybe. think he's flirting with you. Maybe. He, uh, he steps down. And, uh, you know, some other... Uh, I'm gonna name... Actually, can I... Let me indicate which one's Sheila. Because she's, like, a named NPC at this point. Whereas all the other 12 Bugglers are not, technically. He would walk forward. He would pat Sheila on the back and say... And, uh... He would walk forward to you. And he would say... Since you're new here... I don't recognize that fellow either. He would point to the warlock. He he doesn't seem to in notice that this guy is not like actually one of his crew members. <laughs> <laughs> he actually does well, not recognize oh well. or does not not recognize you. <laughs> he thinks you're part of his. I'm used crew. to that. <laughs> However, I mean, if I could actually pass off as a crew member, that's surprising as an air genasi with wind chime armor. <laughs> no, she's talking about uh, her death load. Yeah, no. I was just oh, saying, wait, like, yeah, you were. Be I'm, I'm sorry. That, that like was... saying, like, if I had like a nat twenty or like some really ridiculous role, mm -hmm. it'd still be yeah. weird not being recognized or unrecognized. Right. He looks. He looks at you. Like this whole time, he has been fucking scrutinizing you with that one good eye that he has. And also, the music keeps stopping. I keep trying to put it on repeat, but it doesn't want to play nice with me. So frustrating. Buccaneers Hall loyalty. Clear. I imagine I probably strike them as like like visiting out of town pirate family compared to the rest of the pirates. I'm still dressed too nicely and everything. Are these like actually wizards? The, these guys? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Do you think a pirate crew wouldn't have wizards amongst their fucking crew? Like really? No, yeah, no, I, that, that no, makes sense that. in this setting. I'm just, I'm wondering if I could, like, pass myself off as, like, a new, like, wizard hire. You do notice that these the guys are dwarves. Salt dwarves, to be specific. Oh, shit. You're tall, I, I, not chubby dwarf, you know? Yeah, I'm a deformed dwarf with, like... It's an elongated dwarf, you know. <laughs> really stretching out them, them potentials. Mom boy! Anyway. Jasper looks at you and he says, Since you're new to the crew, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Jasper, Siren Storm. See you all. This is my crew. Festus just says, Pog. He looks at you and says, Indeed. <laughs> I bow using uh, the full extent of my wind chimes and say, It's nice to meet you. He looks at you. And by the way, do you, are you. Do you physically resemble, like, an archetypical air genasi in any way? Like, you know, if somebody knew what an air genasi was, would they recognize you? Yes, I would say yes. I am not trying to hide it at all. He says, You're, um, an air genasi now. Yes, thank you for, you, uh, thank you for noticing. I'm tangled with uh, many an elemental recognize them when I see them. Mine's, however, quite different. He would raise a hand and 
the water would raise a hand too. He would let it go. We're talking like lapis lazuli from Steven Universe level, like control over water is what I'm trying to imply okay. here. So are you a, a water Jadasi? No. But it does come natural to me. I wonder if my father's father wasn't. My father, on the other hand, was a no good lout. Eh, it's a good thing he's dead. Pity about my mother, though. Killed by bandits in the street. Made me what I am today. That and the harpies. By the way, it's interesting that you're joining us on this first mission of ours. We're paying tribute. After all. I mean, Festus knows a thing or two about paying tribute, so... Roll me an Arcana check, those of you who know things about daemons. So, probably Festus okay. and maybe... I would not discount um, Shin's character knowing. Maybe Dylan. I don't know. Anybody who wants to roll me an Arcana. Oh, bruh. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I'm saying bruh so much. I'm just rolling terribly tonight. Okay. Liz. Just, like, really horribly. With yeah. Ten Arcana. Actually, roll me religion too. That might be better. Surprising. For the fourteen religion, you recognize that tribute is not just a word in the uh, in the vernacular of the people. It also refers to something much like taxes and tithes refer to something. Tribute also refers to something, and by something I mean a greater game of greed. Deminus. Oh? Yes. Tribute is Paxis's, uh, butch and sister. Okay. Uh, real quick, um, lore question, because I actually haven't heard undead discussed at all in this setting so far, but, like, Festus is an undying pact warlock. And I'm just, like, wondering if there's, like, any in-universe entities that would, like, make that make sense, because I don't actually have any features that relate to that specifically, so if there isn't anything that works in you in in the setting, I might like change I might like retcon that. I can't uh, think offhand of anything that really there... particularly pertains to the undead except for the um stall shrine nonsense, which um has... so basically undead in this universe um, exist because someone failed to bury uh, a body correctly. Um, this follows a lot of, um, kind of ancient Shinto practice, uh, mixed with, you know, kind of interesting German, Germanic lore. Um, it's, it's an interesting system, and I would definitely ask Lee specifically if you have All right, I was planning on doing more, more intricate lore questions, but offhand, I cannot recall any specific instances in which um, the sentient undead were discussed at length aside from the ghosts that emerged from Soul Prime. Okay. Um, that said, there's a lot of lore regarding daemons. Alright. Which I am very familiar with on account that I've played one before. Taxes, to be specific. And also one of yeah. the Mm-hmm. This guy, however, is an acolyte of another greater daemon. Daemon has a grade. Wait, there's multiple um, greed there demons are that are demons like specifically. Greed. Okay. There is one cantor. Okay. That's what you can surmise when he says tribute. That sounds epic. In fact, 
something that I flirted with doing earlier, and perhaps now is the more appropriate time to do so. The pirate music fades for a second here, and you are greeted with an all-too-familiar theme as Jasper discusses his intentions. I, I need you to do me a favor, because I, Roll20 is not behaving for me. Yes? If you bring up our, our chat log, like the, like the, the overall chat log for this whole thing, find the stats for, I think it was a null bomb? A null bomb? Okay. I think that's what it was called, or a null grenade, one of the two. From the very beginning of our tenure here? Uh, pretty close, yeah. My goodness. Right now? That's a lot of scrolling. Uh, well, that's what control F is for. I can't even get, I can't even get roll 20 to load at the moment, so I can't. Okay. Just at some point, so that when it comes up, if it comes up, I have a feeling it will come up. Too much. I just want, like I said, I can't even get that to load right now. No. Old twenty keeps telling me my connection's been interrupted. Healing to a doctor. Oh wait, that was my character's name. Cute. Don't worry about it right now. Continue. Okay. Uh, let me change this tune to one of the pirate themes again. Kind of wasted that uh, on searching through the archives. Let me go ahead and return to the Buccaneers Hall. Splish splash. <laughs> well, Greg isn't here technically, so I could get away with it, but <laughs> I'm sure our viewers hate it just as much as Greg does. By the way, we will be taking our break at 10.30. So, Jasper looks you over. Reveals to you his tragic backstory, or at least, you know, parts of it, and says, Welcome to the Siren Score. Much like myself, the harpies don't have any use for it. <laughs> oh, but they have use for the bodies that you brought on board. Thank you for that. We're going to be giving the matron a nice feast in exchange for. Gracious offer to host us on the sea spire. So long as we desire, or rather, as long as I. And with that, he would return to the wheel. And Sheila would look at you, Della, like, see what I'm talking about? This guy knows what he's doing. How do you look back at her? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I missed part of that. You hit up who she, who's yeah, no. she looking at, who is what now? Yeah, no, sorry. Jasper, Jasper kind of 
soft, soft intimidates you guys and walks back to the wheel. Um, and Sheila looks back at you, Detlev, specifically, not, not your friends, and says, or and looks at you with the implication that she's saying. See what I mean here? The guy knows what he's doing. Isn't, isn't our, like, unspoken plan to replace him, though, thus make her a pirate queen? Is that, is that what you look back at her with in your eyes? Because her response, of course, non-verbally would be, Oh, hell yeah. Oh, okay. Making sure, yeah, okay. Right, follow. Gotcha. Then, then yes, it's it's. I am on board non-verbally. Jasper looks back at you like this, <laughs> but hasn't noticed your non-verbal betrayal. <laughs> and he returns to the wheel, and he's joined by um his first mate. <clears throat> A, I, I give I give him the same look. I give her like, hey, how you? Yes, yeah, so she looks back at you, like um. Oh goodness! Did it not put on the? Yeah, she looks. She the she looks back at you one. like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, steps up to Jasper and starts talking in his ear, and he looks back at her like this. And uh, you guys basically, you sail onwards, right? <clears throat> and eventually. And you find yourselves adjacent to the sea spire. Oh, Jasper looks like you make a pretty good pirate queen too. Mm-hmm. If you said that. Okay. Then... No lie. No lie, but the um the sea spire is giving like giving me very big gorillas plastic beach vibes. I haven't seen that film yet. But I am it's a, um, uh, an album. <laughs> <laughs> it's a... I have no idea what that laugh was. <laughs> if if that was funny because I know and I'm messing with you, or funny because I'm just terrible. <laughs> it's a combination. <laughs> yeah, no, I know what I know what gorillas is. They're a good... Oh, okay. Bar? <laughs> bar, because it's plural? Squirrel? It's just one gorillas. This yeah. A single, a single gorillas. Hey, do you want to hear my Winston Overwatch impression? Oh, God. Mm. <laughs> Monkey. Wait, what was that? That was, that was Winston from Overwatch. No. It's, it was Winston from Overwatch. Is that royalty-free? My goodness. My goodness, you're gonna get a suit. <laughs> by who? Winston from Overwatch? Yes, by Winston from Overwatch. <laughs> you monster, you doomed us all to heck. As you approach the sea spire, several flapping creatures approach Break. the door. Or approach the boat. Including this one. Break, break when I say break. Yes. I, I, is she looking at me and like the other half of the room at the same time? What is going on here with the guys? What do you she mean by break? Down. And she collect, or she she allows her wings to unfold as she um you know billows forth onto the ship. And she lands on the tower next to Jasper, and she says, Mason is not happy with you. You've taken far too long to bring us tribute this time. He says, Well, she can wait. I have more important fish to fry. And she says, the matron won't appreciate your flippant tone, you know. He says, Well, maybe. She shouldn't have flipped me overboard as a child. 
and the hobby says, I hardly see how that's relevant. <coughs> but I'll inform her right. of your response. And she would fly over the ship. And Jasper would look at the crew and say, Fire! What do you do? She said fire? Just I mean... To the harpy. Why not? Let's... I mean, I've been playing along so far, so... <laughs> Why not? Okay. Roll me the attack. It's two beams. The second one hits. Roll me damage. Boy, you really did I? 16 fours? Yeah, that's a good yeah. fucking... Yeah, yeah, max that's roll that's damage. That's about, um... Okay. Well, she's down to six... Or, she's down by 16. And the rest of the sh ship looks like it's going to follow in sweet, but it is break time. And we will resume whatever is happening here. And in the meantime, I'll just Seven finish minutes. my problem. And Holy cow. Let's, let's say we're coming back at about 1040. See you soon. All right, sounds good. Right. Also, Pat, one thing before uh, before you head out. Every time I do the, um, the Eldritch Blast, imagine I'm doing, like, the Yu Yu Hacker Show finger pistol. <laughs> Love it. Yes, definitely. Let me- I'll be right back. Bye. Alright, bye.
So, how many people are here? I'm here. Hey, I'm here. I've returned. Wait, so are Herr Detlev and the other the pirate, like, currently planning on overthrowing Jasper, like, right now? I wasn't sure if I was reading the subtext. I the plan. I'm not sure. I think we should take the harpies out first before we start inviting. Because, like, there's a lot of people here. Plus, the Harpies is gonna be a pretty hard battle, so I think that if, like, we just hang back during the battle with the Harpies, we can, like, if, if Herr Detlev and, and the Sheila, if they want to, like, have a coup, they can do it after we kill the Harpies. Because then it's kind of just, like, mopping up the survivors. I guess the we don't really know who'd be on a, our side of this coup. Well, these four pirates here, I think, are are, are shields, like small sub crew. Yeah. They also don't really like Sheila. That is also true. Whatever. They openly badmouth her in front of her, but like not to the extent where she was offended. Wait, you can't just say hi to the boss man? You do get the impression that these guys work for Sheila, even though she thinks they're weaklings. And she can do so much better. They do work for them. Guys! Why is the rum gone? Why is the rum gone? Oh wait, I drank it. But yo, I fucking love that video. I love the movie, and I also, I like, the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie is like one of my favorite all-time movies. It is honestly one of the best movies out there, but um, you know, not by- The story. sequels are, are really horrible, horrendous. in my opinion, but the first one is like just a masterpiece. True. You know? The fourth one's not terrible, but I think- I haven't seen the fourth one. I mean, I just like Johnny Depp's singing, but that's just... I, I, exactly. I just like that's why the sequels are bad, because everyone liked Johnny Depp, and then they made the movie about him, which is, like... That's why I dislike the later movies, because they're, they're rebooting the franchise. No kidding. Really? I don't know who they cast him, but yes, they're apparently into just, like, reboot the franchise. That sounds pretty epic. I'm not actually a me neither, because it's like the the lore is is kind of there. Like there's a there's a good deal of like cool stuff going on in the Pirates of the Caribbean universe, and it's just it was like just poorly executed in the in the later movies. You know what else has some great lore? Freistadt. I was gonna say Rosemary, <laughs> but Freistadt works too. And hey, would you look at the time? It's half past game time! So, does anybody else take a preemptive attack upon this harpy who is clearly displeased with Jasper? Uh, since the moment the harpy got on board, I'm just gawking at it, not really attempting to attack. Fair. I'm still just gawking at it as it leaves. She do be a bird lady though. Very gawkable. Jasper looks at you expectantly. That was yeah. Sheila? Oh, wait, sorry. She, I, Sheila I, I looks begin. at you. Yeah, no, Sheila looks at you expectantly. Oh, okay. Hey, Adela. I begin I, moving I'm... my way up one of the masts. She looks pleased. And then she looks at Jasper. Intently. <clears throat> The, uh, 
the harpy uh, begins to roll initiative. Everybody else who's interested in combat, please do so at this time. You know what I'm saying? Well, so so here's a question for you: mm-hmm. Is you ever play or seen like Pirates of the or not Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Assassin's Creed? I have never, but please um, enlighten me. Well, so they have these these, and it's really this this it's something I've only ever seen in Assassin's Creed. This is not a thing that like exists in the boat, the ship, as far as I know. But they have these ropes that are conveniently placed where Buddy grabs one, cuts it, and he's just like up on the mast all of a sudden. I, actually, I think they have one of Pirates of the Caribbean now. I think that. Yeah, they have had those. That, that do be a thing. Oh wait, shit. Could I, could I just like find one of those? Yes, you could. Otherwise, otherwise I'll just like yeah, use all my movement to go this. Roll me a dexterity check. Yeah. Can I roll you an acrobatics? Ooh, even better, yes. Public roll. Oh, Pog. Let me see what you got. Oh, yes. I got an 18. You find that rope and you slide at the top of the mast. You, you are above the harpy. And let's see, turn order wise. Oh, I suppose I need initiative too. Close to the bottom, but yes, roll me that initiative. Oof, I was spending one of my luckies on that too. Ooh, okay. Which, yeah. apparently, which apparently you can do. Uh, that is. Uh, a, so 16, 17, 18, 19. That's a 20 total. 20? Wait, uh, 21? 20 total. Um, I will change that. That is very good for you. So, you are on the top of the mast at the moment. And it is your turn. What do you do? Okay, so where's where's the harpy in relation to me? Directly beneath you. Plunging attack. Yeah, I was like, I'm sorry, you know what I have to do here. I have to jump off land on the harpy and attack it as it goes down, like rule of pool dictates. Please do. Well, first things first, fighting spirit. Uh, I now get advantage on all my attacks for this turn. And you give yourself a temporary 5 HP. Which is going to help with the fall damage. I'm not worried about fall damage. I'm gonna say you're like 30 feet above. Well, how high is the harpy up above the ship deck? 15, if we're going... At this point, yeah. Uh, no, so like, from, from the perspective that I can see, this is like the bottom of the mast, and she's at like this part on the mast. Yeah. Which is three so, squares, yeah, which is 15. basically take one... one Uh, I think it has to be above a certain threshold, though. No, uh, once it's above 15 feet, 15. it's like 1d6 per 10, 10 right? That's what I'm Someone going on, if memory serves. So you would be taking 3d6 uh, plus... I'm going to say 3d6 total, actually. Anyway, though. So, if my math is correct, 52 damage. 50, oh, oh, shit. Um, yeah. 5 oh, 2, God. yes. You single handedly drive this creature to the floor and slaughter the shit out of her. You, however, in the process, take 11 damage. 5 obviously gets taken off by the town. Which makes that uh, was six damage off my total. Jasper stands forward and looks at you honestly quite impressed. He says, My my I didn't know I had an individual of your caliber amongst my motley crew. Your motley yeah, that's a band. My eye on. What's your name? Autocar. Hmm. Okay. 
Perhaps one day that will be Captain Autocar. Good work dealing with that vile creature. Hey, I hit it too. Yes, you did. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> with Autocar. And a friend. I've got myself a handful of feathers. Lovely, lovely. You get to the spire, and you are greeted by a number of harpies, as well as someone who looks a little bit more regal than your average harpy. There's the one I should, should have saved the heavy hitting for. see a whole bunch of different ones. Oop. Wait, what? Why is it not copy and paste that you can control? Control V. Oh, it, it was a sticky one. Oh, wow. So many. Alright, that's actually kind of... Wow, wow. That's pretty uh -oh. cool. Yes, yes. You are greeted by a flock. I'm assuming they notice one of their friends fall out of the sky. Oh yes, they notice that you've killed one. It was kind of hard to miss. Yeah. No, I just, I just gotta confirm. You do notice that um, most harpies are not quite as elegant or eloquent as the one that you've spoken with earlier. These these harpies are kind of feral and frothing at the mouth for a good fight. This one, however, seems to be in charge of them. And looks down upon the crew as she graciously flaps her wings and slowly descends onto the front mounted cannon that stands at the forward most point of the ship. And she says, Jasper, my, my boy, it has been too long. She says, oh yes, yet not long enough. Or is Jasper a gamer? That's hardly any way to speak to your mother. Okay, Jasper is definitely a gamer. Jasper laughs. I've had far too many of those. He hops onto the deck with the rest of you. And he says, Well then. Mother, dearest, <clears throat> I've returned to Freistadt. Is our arrangement still in order? She responds, Did you not just kill one of my daughters? She looks at you, Devlin. I, I just raised my hand like, technically that was me. Jasper looks at you like, we know. And then he looks back at his, um, his quote unquote mother, and he's, he's like, well, yes, but she was being rather crass. You know I don't like those who take on airs. I thought I'd ridded you of that nasty habit when you were just a young girl, but no. I see, you need to be taught a lesson once more. And he says, Don't you dare. Men, 
Compass is out. Oh, I'll Pog. Show her a thing or two about who she's messing with. To arms, brothers. Let's show the harpy who's boss. Do you draw swords? Actually, if you'd allow me, um, during that monologue, I would just like slowly walk towards the dead harpy and start praying. Ooh, what are you praying? Oh, oh, ooh, are you, um, sending her off, Well, Yeah, it is, a uh, an stereotypically air affiliate flying creature, so. I love it, yes, absolutely. So, as this monologue is going, you see, like, a jingle, just, like, slowly walking towards the bird, uh, the harpy, sorry. It'd be funny if you just healed it enough so it's not dead. <laughs> and we just like, we didn't kill it. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. So uh, Jasper's clearly start trying to start a, a turf war here. Are you guys interested in joining, or are you abstaining? Uh, so, so my understanding is I'm here to basically take out all the pirates. Doubly so because I've I've secretly sided with Sheila, quote unquote. They take out Jasper, and the harpies are just just a, like a, a a quibble, quabble that we happen to be in on. So, well, I like think it's should... no matter how this is going down, I'm gonna have to kill somebody. I was uh, talking about this before you joined the call um, after the break, um, but I think that we should wait until the harpies take out some of the crew members and we take out the harpies before we start to try, like, we, we start to, like, Expend initiate a coup. Oh, yeah, no, obviously we take out the harpies first. Yeah. But, like, save our resources until after the harpies did it. I, if, I've already been much pretty much blown ones. my my Nova, thinking that that was like a named harpy. Uh, I already have a sword out too, so I don't really have a choice, do I? Also, they all saw you. Yeah, exactly. You of all people would be drawn into this, to be clear. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like I don't really have a choice. Like, draw swords. I've already drawn blood. The rest of the pirates uh, all, all do draw their swords, and Jasper says, I'll teach you for referring to me as you have done so. So little respect. I'll show you that I'm worthy of respect and more. I'm worthy of tribute myself. Queen of the Harpies, well, I'm king of the seas. <laughs> we'll see you, Trump's home. Men, to arms against our winged friends. <laughs> Fair feathered friends, I should say. The man is clearly prone to monologuing. You can attack now. Yes, you may attack now. Um, now. However, the, the matron draws first blood, or second blood rather, by skewering this man um, through his heart and his body flops overboard. She says, look, you've made me waste meat. Oh, unfortunate. Well, uh, it is no longer Detlev's turn. Detlev did his turn. So it is our cannoneer's turn. And all of the cannoneers attempt to draw their hand axes. Um, well, some of them do, rather. The ones that are closer. Like, uh, well, this one, actually. Um, he pops up here. And he attempts to wail at the... Ooh, nice, not bad. At the matron. Dealing seven slashing damage. Okay, you go, boy. Um, the others, however, um, attempt to cast other things. Ooh, not bad, not bad. Wow, they are 
world really well. Gets up really close to the matron and does some repair attacks. Nice, nice. Doing eight damage to them. It is Festus's turn. Um, I'm gonna. Both at the matron. Oh damn, give him damage. Go for it. Ooh. Nice. Minus 11 and minus 14. My goodness. She's, she's really low on <laughs> Nicely done, nicely done. Um, it is... Oh, I believe it is the harpy's turn. Matron gives you all this look before she takes to the skies and she, say, she uh, looks down at you all and says, Jasper, this makes me most unpleased. I'll be seeing you later. And she flies off the battlefield. Well, she tries to fly off the battlefield. She's not quite off yet. However, the other What's her harpies, movement speed? It, it's her turn, right? It is her turn, yes. Alright. Let me make sure I can still... Oh, totally. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, yeah, Eldritch Blast has a ridiculous range. Yeah, and I have Spell Sniper, so... 240 oh. feet. I think we discussed this the last time I played this character, but... I can... I have, you like, all... Whole... You can't even see. Yeah, pretty much. It will in the, in the dark. So, the harpies descend. Um, so, one, two, three. Right. This one is fighting this guy. And let's just throw this out. Okay. <laughs> that is a crit. So these guys are fun, right? These guys are going to be engaged as we put it. And, um... These guys are going to be engaged. Sorry about so many uh, NPCs being on the board. Probably makes the whole fair quite boring. Oh shit. Oh. No, I forgot also about my hex. Okay. What was that? I forgot about my hex. You have plenty of time to enact a hex. Well, hex has a shorter distance than uh, some 400 range. So. Well, it's it's still 90 feet, so... Okay, okay, yeah. Would you look at that? Somebody didn't forget about you. Uh, this harpy. For instance, remembers you uh, oh. as being, or uh, sees you as being quite the adversary, and attacks you with her claws, dealing you six damage. Presumably, what, what's your HP or what's your AC? Uh, fourteen. Actually, no, it's it's fifteen. Sorry. Never mind, dealing you zero damage. This one uh, finds its way to Shin. Ooh, and it is going to be body planking at this point on. 
Yeah. Wait, flanking against me? No, against uh, uh, Elizabeth. Oh, okay. Shin, what is your age or AC? It's 18. So that is uh, 7, 8, 12 damage total. And the uh. Uh, Harpy Matron is flying off. She's not engaging in this fight. Just um, um, I would like to use my reaction to Wrath of the Storm. Just that. Uh, the Harpy needs to make a deck save or get uh, basically static electricity times 10 back at her. Okay. Does that make the deck save? Um, I actually don't know what the DC is, which it's probably, probably should like know. 15 or 14. <sighs> Yeah, probably. What is your um, what is your spell determining uh, stat? Um, wisdom. Wisdom. Yep. What is your wisdom? Spell? So I have a four in wisdom. Four. Bonus? Yeah. So four. Plus That's proficiency? twelve. And what's your proficiency? You're uh, level four, right? So that's a two. So you, you have a fourteen. 14 spell save DC. Okay. Then yes, it passes. So it takes half damage. Yeah, what is half damage? Roll the damage. Wait, does it light? Game by half is six. Uh, lightning. Interesting. Okay. So she takes six damage. She has been dealt a pretty blow. Um, she looks at you with a look of hatred and glares. My face reaction is, you hit me first. She doesn't seem intelligent enough to respond by means of facial uh, in, uh, emotion. <laughs> she just looks at you with, with hatred. <laughs> It is. Um, I did most of them. It is actually your turn, Shin. What would you like to do in response? Um. That is actually a good question. I will. Oh, fuck, I can't do Thunder Wave. Uh, I'll just do a basic Sacred Flame. Which is a, another deck save it must be a 14 to the harpy that's right in front of me so she's going to attempt that and fail utterly so she takes 8 damage right yep just eight, damage. eight radiant damage Oof, she's not looking too hot she is looking angry. But like a cold angry? Not hot. Not hot. Okay. So was that your turn? Uh, that'll be my turn. I'll hold my ground. Hear that loud. You're up to bat once more. Right. I'll move here. And I'll go oh, with Fighting notice, Spirit again. You notice that go Shiva ahead, is inching towards the, towards the wheel. Where's the fish person who's kind of doing her own thing at the wheel? Not engaging much. Oh. oh I'll engage in that plan in a second. Uh, the fighting spirits, I have a bandage on these. She's not quite up from my range yet, unless her being at the edge of the map means she's already beyond the field. Which, um, which, oh, 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 you the, mean the, the matron. matron. Yes, no, is she, is she still She's on, on the, the field, field, technically? Yes, but she won't be in maybe two Yeah. Years. Boring javelin. Oh. I, I wish I have two. You must make a con save DC 14 or lose half its movement. Ooh, does that stack? Does that stack? I think we need to ask... I have no idea of it. I'm gonna say it does not uh, stack, but um... Maybe it's like cumulative, so like 
the first one halves its movement once, and the second one halves it again. And then, so I now roll not. one. It's up to you. Uh, and neither of them explode. Okay, so it looks like she probably... Um, she takes the first one, so her movement is halved. Uh, and she takes 2d6 ja uh, lightning damage. Um, the second one... So, you, you take the 2d6 automatically. So, 8 and then 14. Correct. 8 minus 14. Ooh, and then had I rolled a 1 on either one of those wands, it would have exploded in that part. She is not looking too hot right now. She's, uh, she's very clearly uh, bleeding out of her side, having been punctured by your Zeus-like javelins of lightning. However, she persists. Except she is quite slow at this point. Let's see, point. guys. So, how are you? I'll use the rest of my movement to move back to where I was so that I can move closer to the Sheila on my next turn. Okay. That'll be my turn. Excellent. Um, Jasper looks at you like... Good job, good job. Um, and it is the dwarves' turns once more. They're going to, uh, ooh, yeah, this one, uh, yeah, this one engages in the one that they're already engaged in. This one kind of joins in. There's much fireballing and uh, caterwauling going on there. This guy joins up here. This guy joins up here. This heartbeat does not look like very, they are very long in the world. This dwarf groups up with Sheila and these, these four guys kind of follow and sweep. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Is, uh, uh, oh, yeah, right. Those guys go out. It's the swashbucklers. It is the swashbucklers' turn. Uh, our friend Swashbuckler gets over here. She looks she looks at the um, fish person like this. The fish person does not look like this when she is being intimidated. She looks more like... <gasps> oh! As she is, um, you know, attacked. That they say wait a That does not hit, unfortunately. However, our swashbuckler friend maneuvers herself closer to the wheel. And she is joined shortly after, but uh, until that time, these guys fight, these guys fight, and these guys fight. All the swashbucklers are currently in. Bestus, it is your turn. Hello. You're surrounded by harpies. I am surrounded by harpies. Quite I'm big going big. to go here. To get line of sight, I risk an op from the first one. Uh, I would like to see. Yeah. Is there more? Uh, no, it's just one, right? Okay. And then I would like to Eldritch Blast twice, neither of them hitting. Yes, and either. also Hex the uh, Harpy. Yeah. I'm gonna look it up quickly because I forgot to write the spell description on my character sheet. Very well, very well. Um, until that time, however, it is the Harpy's turn. The wounded matron scoffs and uh, shouts terrible proclamations, oaths of vengeance upon those who would strike her down. And furthermore, she says, Jasper, I'm very disappointed in your behavior, young man. And, uh, 
Excellent, excellent. And uh, the other harpies do uh, what they're doing currently. Engaged, 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 engaged. This one's probably not going to last very long, but this one here moves kind of like that and attacks with advantage. Uh, the first one misses. Uh, I can't recall which you like to roll. Um, My AC is 18 and matches. Yeah, I think the attacker does win the match. I seen both ways, and I. It's not that much damage anyway. Huh. Typically, it's attacker. Typically. Uh, so the other one attacks uh, Elizabeth's character. I'm assuming a 20 hits, but an 11 does not. You take seven slashing damage. And uh, this one over here is engaged. Actually, I'm going to say one of the dwarf cannoneers falls to the ground dead. Jasper looks around, confused. You, men, why aren't you taking on the harpies? I'll have you be a <clears throat> It is. Shin's turn! Um. So it's looking like we're going to be fighting for a while, and just to double check this, yeah, it's a minute. I'm going to cast a uh, spiritual weapon. I did not mean to click that, my bad. Um, I'm going to do the same thing as last time, uh, making a rope dart uh, weapon and put it to the south of me. Um, and attack the one that is, um, the one that I've been attacking so far, the one to the east of me. That is a definite hit, roll damage. Oh, right, that's an attack roll. And you can use that, because, I mean, yeah. Okay, so can you... mm. 10 force damage. Well, man. She looks As it just whips around. Oh. Yes. Uh, is the harpy still up? She is up, although it looks like you dealt her basically half her uh, remaining HP. Okay. Very palpable hit, what I'm saying. Uh, I will follow up with uh, Sacred Flame on the same Harpy. DC 14 Dexterity save. Alright, let's see if she's got it in her. You gotta take that 2 damage. Ooh! She is definitely not taking she's that 2 damage. Not taking any damage today, my friend! <laughs> she got slashed up by a rope dart and is not willing to take any more damage today. Oh yeah, she gives you this look. And, and then also this look. <laughs> and then my look is, okay, I deserve that one now. <laughs> it is Deleb's turn! Deleb! Your homegirl be walking up towards the fish lady, like... And the fish lady be like... Ah. What are you doing? Vicious rend. Bella? That love. 12 sided. You're muted. That love, you're muted. Friend. I totally am. Uh, sorry. Uh, yes, yeah, so she's got a posse, so I'm not too worried about her. Although I'm sure the elf is probably the bigger of the two threats of this. Probably, in fact, the one with water powers and the thing that Buddy has, but neither here or there. 
Uh, I need to be in striking distance of him, so I can place myself over here by this harp of you. Attack it so that I'm right next to him when I want to go kill him. Uh, do I have flank in? I don't think I do. Uh, oh, I do. The harpy? Yes, you do. Yeah. That dude. Flank in. That is a very palpable hit, Minecraft. Ooh! Nice, nice. All right, that, those are two good hits. Uh, 15 and uh, 18. 18. So 15 and 18 add up to be more than 22. It is 33. So. Yeah, you single-handedly slaughter this harpy. And that'll be my turn. Jasper looks at you like, very nice, very nice. What did you say your name was again? Autocar? Autocar. <laughs> Stick with me, Autocar, and you'll be running this vessel in a week. When I return to the rest of my fleet. Yeah, now I, I now have a tempting counter offer. Damn it. <laughs> now I actually have to consider that. I was. Anyway, that's my so turn. So expectant that Sheila would take the ship when I left, but you very promising. It looks like she's taking the ship, all right. Sheila <laughs> looks like she's taking the ship. <laughs> it is the dwarf cannoneer's turns. This harpy is dead. The dwarf cannoneer. Finish the job. Um, this dwarf cannoneer attempts to uh, figure out where a better place to be is and comes over here, providing flank to be his fine books. Um, and this one kind of backs up his homie. And did I not? Did I just literally not roll for these dudes? These guys don't. Yeah, you totally bad. just forgot about wow, them. Wow, I just totally forgot about the fired muscle. Alright, I'm gonna say this one died. Uh, and this one's, you know, kind of. kind of, uh. moving up. These guys all kind of are moving up. These guys actually are fighting. Whoop! This one's moving up. This one's standing at the wall. Um, and it is the swashbuckler's turn. Our swashbuckler friend attacks the fish lady once more. Woo! That is a hit! That is a hit! And she gets hit. Nice. Hurt. After hitting with an attack, the uh, swashbuckler may elicit a DC 13 deck save as a bonus action failure the target, and the swashbuckler moved together five feet in the direction of the swashbuckler's weapon. So let's roll. Goodness. Plus one. Plus that. Either way, that would fail. So she's standing here, and the swashbuckler is standing there. Sniper, do your thing. Yes, I would like to attack again. Who are you Big bad harpy. Mm. Kill oh, the matron. Kill the matron. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, roll me that attack. Uh, the damage. Oh my. God. Do both of them hit? Yes, both of them. Get that 2d6 on there, too. Yeah. Minus 20. I know. And 2d6. Oh my god, minus 28? Yep. Oh my god. 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 Oh my god
my god! She's so fucking close to being dead! Uh, ah, I was expecting no. her to get away! <laughs> 300, I really doubt it, but not do it. Right. Fuck! <laughs> Oh no! I'm I'm really sorry Dude. if I kill your your big bad evil no, guy. No, please, I'm just being silly. But um, do you have anything up your uh, up your sleeve? Anything else? Um, I no, I don't think so. I will no. note at the end of next turn, she will be maybe two hundred feet away. I can still hit her. Two forty. The spell's got a three hundred foot range. No, it's it's not quite three hundred. It's two forty. All right. So at the end of this, is it? It says three hundred. Oh, it says three hundred. It shouldn't yeah. be three hundred. It should be two forty. Because oh. I um I realized that none of the the maps that we've been playing on have been more than two hundred and forty feet at the absolute most. And so I switched out one of my invocations because um, I know what you mean. the Eldritch Spear one gave me a 600 foot total range, and that was just too much. So I had to draw. I I had to like the invocations were the only thing that I can change. You can't like change feats uh, after yes. the fact. Um, that I've I've played that build though with the 600 foot range. Yeah. It's really fun, but not super effective for the boards that we're playing on, even though it could really help right now. You said is that see, um, Elizabeth is 18? Uh, no. For me, it is uh, 15, but I will... Um, you get hit twice? I get hit uh, once. I don't have a lot of health, so I'll just take the 9 damage. Okay. Yes, you take 9 damage. Do you want me to do it? No, I got it. Okay. Thank you. No problem. And this one is going to attack at uh, Shin with advantage. Shin, what is your armor? Uh, both this. My 18. AC is 18. Neither of them hit. Harpy slashes and scratches at you and then whaps you over the head with a, uh, a, a broad piece of wood, but it doesn't seem to do anything to you. Your wind Shield and uh, wind chime armor. They sing Song of Defiance. And it is... Yeah, you, you slowly realize that there are fewer and fewer harpies, but that something else is afoot. Um, here. It is your turn, Shin. What would you like to do? Alright. Uh, let's try this again. Sacred Flame against the one directly east of me. Okay. With, uh, Dexterity save. DC 14. Uh, I don't know if one, one damage is going to do much. Hey! They failed Does the Does not save make though. it. Um, so, one so, damage. Yeah. Alright. Minus one. So, they, they look kind of injured. They're like, ow! What the fuck was that? Except they're more Wind like, chimes? Ah! Fuck you! And bonus action, I'm going to use my uh, spiritual weapon to attack. It's 10. It's probably doesn't hit. Uh, yeah, that doesn't hit an 11. My bad. Alright, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay, I will say that. The spiritual weapon's attacking, it dodges it, and then I spear flame, uh, sacred flame the after it dodged. That's why I hit. Yes, I love it. Wait, actually, sorry, are you attacking this one right here? The one east of you, or the one west of you with the spiritual weapon? Uh, I was trying to attack the one east of me. Roll once more, because you have it. Wait, no, actually, spiritual weapons don't take advantage, do they? Spiritual uh, weapons do not get flanking bonuses and you can't mind. take off attacks. Yes, never mind. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I sorry. gave you an, an, uh, an unfair advantage. Uh, no, no, that's okay. Okay. So that was your turn. It is Detlev's turn once more. Um, you notice things are heating up back here. The uh, fish lady. Was Sheila in the elf? 
Yes. Sheila and the elf are fighting. You call it a cat fight. Although I'm not yeah, sure why that's, you... That's fine. It's part of the plan. Uh, oh, I wish I could find the stats of that bomb, but that cluster right at the end of the ship. Perfect. Mm. Would take a lot of... Uh, or the ship. Uh, and also the part of the ship, yeah. Wow, it might. I don't know how strong it is, but I know it's anti magic. That's all I know. I, I, uh, I for it, but, I but I can't find the stats for it. So no, I, I can't get that page to load. So hmm. options. Is this is this harpy over here still alive? Which one? Oh yes, she's very gravely injured though. Um, uh, yeah, she's she's she, she's looking pretty hurt. You know what? Uh, a, so are my teammates, though. So, so, can I occupy the same? Can I go here? I don't know if I can. That that weapon. Um, the weapon technically doesn't take up space. Yeah, because it is just a. Floating it doesn't weapon. occupy the square that it's in. Yeah, it's just a floating yeah. weapon, which, uh, considering the space of the five by five, you should be able to be there. Yeah. I'll attack the one harpy then. Okay. With this one, I'm assuming? That is a uh, hit. Very powerful This one hit. first. Oh, okay. Yes, uh, that, that would be an advantage. And it is a 24. Yeah. I'm still hitting. You slay yeah. her. You chop her cool. down. Cool. Exactly what I was hoping for. I will now attack the other one. She's immediately dead. Oh. Yeah. I'll just normal. Although, uh, you know, probably roll damage. That is a hit as well. 15. She's got, yep, another death. You finish the job that they started. And you cool. see the true confrontation playing out at the back of the ship. Uh, I still have food. Uh... Jasper looks at you and says, yes, yes, good. Take down this mutinous would-be captain. I'll assure you, seat at my side. I'm kind of vibing with Jasper, I'm not gonna lie. Sheila says, <laughs> don't listen to him. Now, uh, Ditlev's stuck her for a pretty face, though, so I'm kind of torn. Mm. Are we going like to have an in-party fighting with NPCs on our sides? <laughs> Ditlev, it looks like you're being uh, flirted with, with by uh, two two options here on either side of the ship. My goodness, which will you pick? I, I mean, honestly, if they were okay for, like, a thruple, Ditlev would go for it. They're both cute. Yeah. Yeah, they, they both cute. It is true. It is true. Uh, however, they seem to kind of hate each other at the moment, so... <laughs> I don't know if they'd be okay yeah, with the like, drop off. Oh, I know. <laughs> so there you go. It is Fastus. Oh, yeah, that's my turn. Yes. So. It is Fastus' turn. Fastus, what would you like to do? Um... <laughs> there's, there's some... There's Surprise! Some, uh, Eldritch you know, Blast on the big... Um... <laughs> I'm 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 worried because uh, I kind of want to kill the big mean harpy, but I also hmm you know I'm gonna offer my first blast. Does that hit the harpy? It does. The yeah, matron. Yeah, that's definitely a hit. Does that kill it? You see her dive into the water. You're pretty sure she's dead. Okay. She falls beneath the waves and you don't see her any further. Alright. Um. With her uh, out of the picture, the harpies that are on the ship still seem quite unnerved. Well, what do you think? I still have a beam left. I still have a beam left, and I'm not sure whether I should place it here. Or here, mm. this is a, this is a this is a big question. 
big question. Well, so, so let me help you with that question. Is regard like considering elevation and whatnot? I have no idea which which of those two targets you can even see. Or I like if there's can, I like if you can probably or her character can probably see both options. Uh, uh, Sheila would be hard to see. <laughs> And you can basically just right. not see the, the fish lady that you know that she's fucking. Mm hmm Has the fish lady been fighting back? Not yet. It's kind of been uh, a very relatively new thing that this person is not on her side. And she's kind of confused. Uh... I think I'm gonna stay out of it for now, move my hex to one of the harpies as a bonus action, and just try and hit it. Ooh, you had hex on that too, so that dealt an extra... how much damage? Uh, let me check. It was like twice as much, right? No, it, it does an extra 1d6. 1d6, okay. So an extra For five. each attack okay. that it hits. Not bad, not bad. Um, actually, in that case, um... How much overkill is overkill? Yeah. No. Okay. Cool. Just checking. Um. So you move the hex to this uh, harpy. Yeah. Does a seventeen hit? Does a seventeen hit? Yes, it does. How much damage do you deal? Oh. Oh. Do you want to uh, add the overkill? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. She's dead. Yeah. What does your hex look like? I'm or, still thinking about that. What is your I think I might I might think like? My Eldritch Blast looks like the like the, the finger gun blast from Yu Yu Hakusho. It's like a blast of like white light. I like finger gun. Oh, nice. And a blast of like blue white light comes out. Blue white light pierces out from your fingertips as you strike down the harpy who had just laid low, laid low one of the swashbucklers of the crew. Jasper looks at you, proud, and uh, eager to get this fight over with. Oh, God. I'm gonna say Jasper and the Harpies kind of go in the same time, uh, at the same time, and Jasper straight up murks one, and uh, you know stares down the other one, the final Harpy on the uh, on the stage, and uh, she looks like she's going to try to flee. In fact, she does. She does try to flee, but she incurs an attack of opportunity from the Swashbuckler, and that is a hit dealing exactly as much as she had left when she falls into the ocean. It is now to be a fight between the virus. Yes, this is what I had planned all along. Totally. <laughs> It is also our friend's turn, patient. Um, I'm gonna move the um, rope dart south of this uh, mast, and I don't know which side to pick, so I will cast Cure Wounds on myself and start praying for the deceased uh, harpies. If if it, if it helps, you guys were not informed of the mutinous plan. So this is just like a spur of the moment thing that is happening around you. Yep. And I am focused on the front of the ship where most of the harpies were. Because mm -hmm. I like birds. And I probably won't even look back towards you. Um, and I just killed my character sheet. Give me a little sleep. Okay. I killed a Your lot wound. of the... Uh of the initiative rolls, so I just kind of casually re-rolled them now. 
<laughs> I heal What's ten hit points. So, um, all right, we will start off this new attack uh, or this new round with, uh, let's say the swashbucklers are taking their turns, which includes, oh god, I haven't rolled for these schmucks yet. I think it's about time I did, TBH. You haven't rolled for like a good portion of the crew on either side of this whole time. Although to be fair, you could say all those uh, basic uh, pirates are just the orchestra of the ship and they're just playing the background music. Oh, yeah, Every so probably. often we see your... Uh, I'm going to say they go uh, on, on their commander's turn. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. I, I appreciate your um, input there because you actually made me decide how this would play out. All right, so there's some tag teaming going on. There's a lot of flanking on the shit on the fish person to the age. So like, he's, he's a drop. Um, actually, wait, no, no, no. One of these guys, these, these guys were fighting each other. To the age, sorry. They both kill each other. It's very gruesome. But there's still a lot of flanking going on here. And and Jasper looks down at the conflict on his ship like. Get this in order! Those of you who side with the mutinous crew, well, we'll just see if whoever takes the Harpy Matron's place is equally amenable to the arrangement we had. I'm sure they will be. I can be quite persuasive. So, get your shit in order! Oh, I'll give your shit to them. Do your jobs, man. Haven't we basically just wiped them out? Yes, you've killed a lot of them. We've what, killed... but no, that's not the entirety of the Harpy Hive. Or the nest. Making sure. Uh, no, 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 that was just the greeting party. <laughs> ah, no, the entourage. No. There's, there's a lot of Harpies. Um, so, it is Detlev's turn. Detlev, you are in the middle. You see clowns uh, to the left of you, is... jokers to the right, and you're kind of stuck in the middle with just yourself and a spiritual weapon. Really am. I'm so conflicted. I wish I could help you. Mm. But I'm impartial also... to the DM. Pat, if you have a moment, uh, I wanted to move the spiritual weapon here. You wanted to move the spiritual weapon here? Yeah, south of the, the front mast. Yes. Uh, when, when is your it's okay, math has solved my problem for me. Because there's two of, the, two of them over here, so... That takes a bonus action for me um, when it wasn't my turn. I will, will move and use my action to dash to be able to reach here, which doesn't leave me a, a, a viable action to do anything once I get here, so that is my turn. Oh my goodness. Tense? I don't even know which side you'll take, but I'm eager to find out. Wow. Why can't I move this... Ah, the shape that I made. Okay, look at that. Alright, there we go. It's right here, right? Yep, thank you. No problem. Okay, this is interesting. This is getting tense. Um, it is... It is Fastus' turn. Fastus, what do you do? Fastus. Oh, sorry, the audio cut out. I could not hear anything until that last time. Um, 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 um. Are there any more, um, like sailors on the top deck? Um, everybody is there on were... the top deck is who you see. Okay, because there were a few there. Did they move? Are, th are they the some ones of them that have moved died. there? Yeah, some of them have died, and I've just removed them from the board when they died. Okay, is, is this guy part of it? He's on the me Everybody over here is mutinous except for maybe Herodatlev and definitely not the fish thing. 
Alright, um... Can I see either of these ones? Either of who? Either of these sailors, these two. Um, it's hard to make them out, but you can, like, see the tops of their heads. Alright, um... Since I, I don't really want to, I don't really want to kill her. I'm just gonna, like, one Eldridge Blast Sheila. She feels wounded. More in her pride than in her body, but it hurts nonetheless. She looks at you, as, and her eyes seem to say, Why? But she doesn't say anything. She's taciturn like that. And it is Jasper's turn. Quite the opposite of Sheila, Jasper's. Far from Taciturn. He stands down, uh, down the ladder and uh, starts walking as if to reclaim his, uh, his place at the helm. And he says, Sheila, I warned you that if you didn't follow my orders, it would come to this. You've tried my hand. But I am not a patient man, you know this. Stand down now. Or it will be the last breath you breathe. Would you rather your last breath be a defiant one? Or labored one at the end of your long life. Your decision. With that, it is the fish person's turn. The fish person casts your wounds on herself. And then she takes these arms. Were you ever considered engaged with her uh, in combat? Would you take I, an open I, I mean, to I, move? I mean, I would not. Okay. Let's see. Where are the pirates? Swabi. Sheet scimitar. Or at least I would elect to make it look like I had a Memphis. Yes, neither of them hit, and she's kind of uh, clear of those two. Well, she's standing here, and she looks over to Jasper and says, Get rid of her! Do the thing! And Jasper looks back at her and says, I'm on it. It is the cannoneer's turn. Yeah, this one, uh, this one stands, or sorry, so this one kind of stands over here. Takes an attack at the uh, the fish lady. Hitting. Ooh, more slashing. She's down on her luck. Um, although she did just heal herself, so she's not she's not super bad off. But she looks like she might be in a few rounds. These guys, however, don't fuck around. Hey, um, that love. Yeah. I have to. Uh, some dexterity save. Well, I'm fine with that. They cast a friendly fire. Ah. Oh. I'm perfectly okay with this. Roll it twice, because you're going to be in a range twice. Is this hitting the fish lady? Lady has. Oh, 
when it ties, is considered to have a pass. Yes. Yes. Like, okay. 24 and 31. So 55. And then I got great on the second one. I don't know if you count that as any special. Some, some DMs do, some don't. Uh, two. Uh, seven. Strictly rules is written a crit on a, a, a save like that doesn't give me any extra bonus. Thank you. Seven damage to those who passed, which is just you and Fish Lady. Sheila is um, at death's door. She's bleeding from her mouth. Fish Lady is also bleeding from her mouth. Very low HP. Um, these guys are straight up dead. Mm. What a poorly, uh, poorly timed mutiny. Okay. So, with that, Sheila turns around to you, Detlev, and she says, Let's finish this. Blood dripping from her mouth. Fish Lady First Mate looks at you, Delev, and says, Yes! Let's finish this! Also blood dripping from her mouth. There's a lot of people with blood dripping from, her, from their mouths, but you know who doesn't have blood dripping from their mouth? Jasper. Jasper just looks up at you and says, Shin's turn! Hey there, buddy! How you doing? <sighs> <laughs> With every every action, I get more and more torn between what to do. <laughs> oh, um, welcome to a good D&D session, then I guess. <laughs> Um, we'll be back when we go to meta game. I'm about to click. I, I got. I have. Uh, I'm, I sorry, sorry. Did not mean to interrupt. No, no, that's okay. I have more than two thousand channel points. Um, <laughs> you're giving. You're stalling for me. You don't even realize it. Yeah. Wow. So I, I'm. Oh. <laughs> I guess I am just going to move towards the back. Oops. <laughs> Party members with ranged options be like, I'm gonna move there. <laughs> and use a dash action to get to there. That's the max of my movement. And uh, I want to keep my spear weapon with the where it is and end my turn. Nice. Okay. It is the swashbuckler's turn. These guys attempt to, uh, you know, dash over here. That one's combating that guy. This one's gonna, like, you know, attempt to get up there on her next turn if there's anybody to deal with. But the one swashbuckler everybody cares about, that is to say, Sheila. She turns to the fish lady and says, <laughs> That's the last time you scuttle my shit. And, uh, she attacks. I'm gonna say... Okay. Sudden betrayal. Attacks get left. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she attacks the fish lady. However, the fish lady pulls out a saber of her own and deflects. Nobody suspected this. Except for maybe the swashbuckler, but she didn't really expect it because obviously she got parried. The swashbuckler says, Ha ha I see you. I see you, devil. Then. 
An epic duel commences. Detlev, you are standing in front of two ladies dueling each other with short swords. You are standing behind them, kind of in awe of their footwork and their ability to parry and thrust. What do you do? I'm I'm kind of conflicted because you know it's basically a cat fight at this point. So like, do I just let it go on? Uh, oh. You can be the deciding factor in this fight. I know, but this is not the side I want to be on. But this is the winning side. Uh. Well, our job is to take out the pirates. Grapple and it's restrain one of them. That is possible. I'll say which idea. I I catch that. What? I I said you could like try and grapple one and like break it up. Oh, I don't even have to grapple in order to do that. I can, if if a, uh, a melee attack would reduce her to zero, I can elect to do non-lethal damage. Oh, okay. Uh, and considering no, how let's... low both of them are in terms of HP, it's quite possible. Well, I, I think I can, I think I can work this out to get my ideal outcome. So, blank it, I shall... Hit her with a pommy, but do non-lethal damage. That's a hit. You're just hitting just her eight with knock her out. butt of your head? Oh yeah, no, she had two yeah. HP left. Oh. She is knocked out. Sheila is on the ground. And I think, yeah, assuming that guy dies, which is just an assumption I'm willing to make, I think that evens the mutiny out. And we turn to new music. Keeping her alive means that I can potentially get my ideal outcome here. Indeed. So she is still currently alive. I'm going to move her beside you. The uh, fish lady, um, who others refer to as Lapis, um, she looks at you. With eyes that say, thank you, but also eyes that say, you did your job. And she's, she smiles. But she doesn't say any words. She leaves that very talkative captain slash admiral, admiral, <clears throat> who says, Good work, good work. Hey, now I do work. wish I had killed him. <laughs> oh, just you slow clap for me. I just now I do wish I had killed him. Ah, yes, you you'll make a fine crew member someday. Very fine, very fine. But and he turns to uh, turns to um, the uh, the warlock, and then. He turns Shin's character, and he's finally rests his eyes on Delev and says, One day, but I get the impression that you are a ways away from that day. Charter rests. To be fair, I'm autocar right now. So unless he knows that Autocar is a complete fake. He didn't need to know that Autocar was a complete fake. Uh, uh here, let me... The token... I mean, if you want to roll a deception Oop. to retroactively have him not recognize that you're not part of his crew... He's the kind of person who knows everybody's face in there. Oh, that's fair, but auto cars, you know, but, no, that's, that's fine, that works too. Um, but he, he doesn't necessarily- I, I can play with that. He doesn't necessarily think you're Detlef. He thinks your auto car ah, is somebody okay. else's yes, that, that pirate, works. you know? Somebody else's ah, pirate. He does, that works however, for me, I can work with it. He does, however, assume that these guys are charterists. 
the uh the, sh- <laughs> the Oh my god, I totally want to pull the <gasps> what? You're charterist? Oh you could. Honestly, he would buy it because he, he does not realize that you are a charterist. He just knows that you're not part of his crew. Oh my god, yes. Or yes, for the for the, the outcome I'm going here for. Yes. Okay. That's would close. I get would I get advantage for that given everything that's already occurred? Yeah. I think, you know what he's probably going to assume? He's probably going to cool. assume that you were Sheila's crew. There you go, 19. Yeah, no, he thinks that you were somebody Sheila brought on. Cool. I could work with this. But Jasper does kind of, I mean, unless you guys also want to make really high deception rolls, I think he knows that you guys are Tartarus because he's a very intelligent and worldly man. I think I'm okay with him knowing that I'm a Chartist, and I think I'd like to kind of talk our way out of this and just try to convince him not to stop using the caves underneath the guy's house. Okay. Because it's like, we don't really have a problem with him if he's not using that guy's tunnels. Thank you for helping me deal with the Harvey Scourge, as well as that mutinous, mutinous crew member of mine. I should never have promised her greatness. She wasn't worthy of it. You, however, might be. Someday. What were your names again? I'll write them down in my black book. Potential candidates for... Future knowledge. He's, talk- he's talking to you too. Yes, he's yeah. talking to you too. Yep. Um, I already said my name, so I said my name is Kaizen. But um, I'm not. I was like a. It was more of like a. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My name is that because I am too. Um, I'm studying the elf officially. Interesting. Yes. So um. And, and do you give him your name? I do. Fastest. Interesting. Wow, this has been an eventful evening. Care to join me, Charterists? I intend to dine on the sandbanks at the Spire for chicken dinner. Before I pay tribute to my parents. Sure. Dinner sounds pretty good right about now. You see a spit is um, ignited somewhere between the masts and harpies are strung up on uh, on wooden uh, steaks as they intend to uh, cook and eat the harpy meat while uh, landing at the sand bank of the ceasefire. I, I have to ignore this role, but I have to do it because you know, I'm curious now. Oh, I have one lucky left. Spend it here. Chicken dinner they've ever had. Oh shit, yeah. No, yeah. Um, so you cook, you cook some harpy meat real good. They are entirely impressed. And he looks at you and says, "Wait, what? What? Sorry, what, what was your name again?" In it's like Autocar. 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 Yeah, yeah. He says, "Autocar, right?" Best damn mm-hmm. harpy meat I've ever eaten. And trust me, I've had a lot. Good work. It's a pity that you were part of Sheila's crew. <laughs> Was. Was, yes. Why don't you and. You. Marcus. You. Rastakar. 
Why don't you three escort these two charters back to where they came from? And when you get back, you will have your fair share of tribute. The part the crew says, to tribute! And then Jasper says, yes, yes. Fondling his, uh, his locket. To tribute. Do you, uh, do you go ahead and, uh, escort the Charters back to where they came from? Or do you guys mean to talk with Jasper first? I, I would like to have a conversation with Jasper. Yes. He's amenable to this. After all, you did help him deal with the mutiny of his own crew. I say, so... I know that you understand that we're chartists and that we were hired to prevent you from doing a few certain things, and so I would just like to ask you kindly to stay off of Herr... What's, what's his face? Sonata. Herr Sonata's uh, property in the future. That coat belonged to a long-dead pirate by the name of Blue Boots. Doesn't belong to Sonato, even though he may own the land above it. He does not own the cove, nor does he own the treasure that lies within the cove. Well, when the Chartists legally excavate the treasure from his house, I promise you my share of it. I promise you'll get there first. But. I appreciate the offer. I don't know about then that. I don't, I, I don't know if I don't know if we can we can just like leave now that he's said that he's gonna go back. Because that was our job, is to prevent the pirates from coming back. Well, so you roll persuasion? I yeah, I, I would like to roll a persuasion. Where's my persuasion button? Um, let me just check one thing. Where would you do that? Wow. Okay. And he looks you over and says, uh, so what do you say with that persuasion check? Are you trying to convince him not to go back once more? Um, yes. How do you put it? When he states his intent to return and beat you to the punch, what do you say? How do you retort? I say, with my share of the treasure and all the other various wonders in this immense sea, what could be the motivation for going back for the rest of this one trove? He chuckles softly to himself before getting louder and louder, he says. I think you don't understand why I do what I do. Because the glory of it is taking it from someone stronger than you. Wresting it from their arms as they bleed out at your feet. To have what they had and to have it by force. That <laughs> that is what it means to take tribute. But to do so to someone so weak as yourself would be hardly worth it. I accept your wager, provided that you can follow through and genuinely bring your share of the treasure to me. Otherwise, my friend. I will exact tribute from you. Do we have a deal? Yeah. Do you shake on it? Yeah, I, I say I, I shake on it and I'm really tempted to just add like a nice joy buzzer shocking grasp onto that and uh... You feel him crush your head. Okay, that's, uh, 
but not not in like a deal damaging. Ooh, but you do drop that shocking grasp on. No, uh, I'm, this is this is conflicting because my character's yeah, lost. You're, you're cool. I'll, I'll pass you, you, know, you up. He he. He's an asshole, that. but he's he has a he follows a very strict code, and he is he is hired to do a job, and he's gonna do it. That awkward moment when lawful evil fucks around with chaotic evil. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so uh, I have a question: Is with with dinner and everything? Has it been an hour? Yes. Cool. Perfect. You. Oh, <clears throat> that also oh, means my fish an hour? Milk gone. Oh, oh, pog. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you get it. Yep. Oh, pog. I'm not sure what you guys are planning, but uh, interesting. Sorry, what did you say, Shin? Oh, my spirit witch or weapon will also be gone because it only lasts for a minute. So, are you guys planning on doing anything now that you've made quote unquote a deal? Your call. I'll back you up if you want to make that play. I, I ignore the shock, shocking grasp roll. Um, he seems uh, content with the bargain that he's made with you. For what? It's worth. what? I said he seems content with the bargain that he has made with you for what it is worth. All right, all right, all right. I'm just, I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. I'm very I'm conflicted. Elevate this to a ten. Very... By the way, you guys hear the sounds of more crew members from beneath the ship who were not on the deck. If that changes. That changes a little bit. I think I'm. I think I'm all right for now. Okay. I think that an hour of dinner would be considered something mechanically, but I don't think that even if that were what it could be, I don't he, think it would be worth. He does risking have the crew my members loot the bodies of those that they've slain uh, of the mutinous crew members and drag their uh, belongings up to the deck. And he does distribute their belongings with you guys, too. So you have up for grabs um, a gold-hilted plus one cutlass, aka plus one spitar. Um, uh, about, about 50 gold. Um, and a pearl necklace. But the pearls, they're all black. Very rare, right? Ooh. Can I have the necklace? Okay. You guys have a whichever you guys make first call. <sighs> Grab. Alright, Shin. Or sorry, Elizabeth. What? Yeah. I, I literally I was thinking of your last name on Facebook when I said that. I'm oh sorry. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, don't worry about it. Alright. Uh, like if none of you guys want that sword, I'll take it. Liz? You can oh. have the sword. The sword is is okay. If you want the sword, though, like... No, I have never used a sword with this character, and I don't think I will ever need to. Well, I meant our other, our other character oh, okay. as well, right? Yeah, that's yeah. true. I, I will look at the sword, I'm like, oh, it's nice, it's bejeweled. Mm -hmm. And then walk away. <laughs> oh, your character is so cute and selfless. I really like your character. He's really I'm cute. here to have fun. <laughs> Literally just, uh, hey, is this fun? Yo, yeah, let's continue. <laughs> Della, you got a bejewel. Oh, and I I put the the pearl in my um my emblazoned sack thing that I got from the last pirate. Yes. And then you guys can split the gold between the two of you, so twenty twenty five if you want. I got the did did I get the compass or the I I, I believe telescope you thing? Um, I think I got the compass. I, you definitely got the compass, the for compass? sure. By the way, From the, the last compass time. is pointing in a different oh. direction than the last time you I do you believe you got the compass, but not the telescope. The right. compass is consistently pointing towards the cave system of Hair Sonata. The compass is? Yes. Oh, epic. It's broken, but I... it consistently points towards the caves. I do not pull this out when I'm around, um, Mr. Pirate Captain. Yes, Jasper would be, uh, quite interested in seeing that. 
considering he knows the captain that once owned him. <laughs> I, I do have his satchel, though, on my person. He would recognize that, so, but not say anything about it. If he does, I, I'll just tell him I took tribute. He would appreciate that. <laughs> Um, yes, so, um, you guys, uh, distribute the 50 gold. You, you two can split it two ways if you want. Yes, so I'm gonna say Liz and Shin, uh... I have 25 gold each? Uh, yeah, 25 gold. Right. I have plenty, so I'm mm. good. Give me one sec to, uh, use the bathroom, then we'll deal with after stuff and, uh, feedback. Alright. All right. So do I challenge him? Do I take him one on one? Oh, no, I, got, I, got I really sure like this that. character, and I think we wait until next time to fight him. I got my actual surge back, and I got one more fighting spirit. So all my attacks will be advantage. I got all of my. Actually, no, I. I, I am silly. I thought I got all of my spell slots back yeah, because I'm warlock. But I yeah. don't, because I only used first level spell slots, and all of my first level uh, spell slots are my sorcerer spell slots. Uh, so yeah, we, we technically took a short rest, that's why I asked if dinner was an hour. Right. I don't think I've ever took a short rest in this campaign setting before, though. I am back to full. Oh, Pat doesn't mind me rolling a hit dice that will be recorded. Well, we're just we're just finishing up the session right now. We're, uh, we're not. I'm I'm assuming no one else is doing combat. I, I hope not because I'm sleepy. No, no, no. I mean we've no. It's we're coming too close to the end, even if we're. Or if Pat wants okay. to, you know, really put a cliffhanger, have a fight start and then end it. Okay. Ooh, that is a terrible roll. So, uh, Jasper says, um, thank you for helping me with this fight. I can't imagine that the fighting will end just now, though. For it is now time that I confront the Matron Council atop the Spire once more. As a Sea Lord and captain of my own and a grown man now. It's perhaps time that they started paying tribute to me as opposed to the other way around. And maybe we'll see each other once more. Well. I suppose it is I, time. I'm about to head out. I suppose it is time we bid it to you. Yeah. I slap him on the back as I leave. Yeah, he, uh, he, he's a lot frailer than you would you would assume, but uh, he takes it nonetheless. He looks at you like, all right. And uh, with that, you guys return to your ship on the side of the boat, which is kind of like over here. And uh, yeah, let me gather you guys up. Uh, Detlev, do you do anything with the unconscious Sheila? Just take her with us. Uh, is that an option? Ah, uh, if you maneuver it to be such, yes. But if you don't, then they're just going to kill her. You know what? He has made the argument of, of tribute and whatnot. I, I will make the argument that this was her her attempt at, at wrestling tribute, mm -hmm. and she may still hold value, and she's worth more mm -hmm. alive than dead, so she can go with the charterist. Interesting. Roll me a persuasion. If anybody would like to help in this persuasion roll, it would not be a disadvantage. I would love to, but I don't know how I would. 
Well, so you're saying that my role would be at disadvantage, eh? Yeah? Assuming no one helps, yes. Well, you could also make the argument that you're taking tribute by bringing her with you. That might be... Disgustingly enough, the better argument would be. Yeah, that, that was that was the, the worst well, that was way that I was kind of my could, original thought, but... You know, that was the, the piratiest way that I could think yes, about. So that. Jasper is, um... Terrible. So you might have a good argument there, if that's the way you swing it. I'll go with that one, because that was originally my thought. I was right, like, well, oh, how do I explain that I want this? Oof. My friend. Can I do the health action? Can I do the health action? Yes, I think you've already done the health action, but also do it again and, and uh, Detlev, go me one more persuasion. Slightly oh, better. Let me. No, oh, that's. Jeez, considering you have a plus five, that's really sad. Uh, let me, right. Yeah. Well, so here, yeah, let me. Well, for lols, because obviously those two rolls count. Uh, it always works better if you set it to advantage. Yeah. See, if you set it to advantage on one roll, it always works better than rolling two regular rolls at once. Interesting. I don't know why that would work, but um. I. It's just a quirk of how the. The numbers work. He doesn't buy it, but he doesn't stop you from taking her. He does, however, ask to inspect the tribute you're taking before you do so. That's fine, I don't care. I, honestly, we could kill her, it wouldn't make a difference to me either way. Detlev, do you, do you let him inspect the tribute? Yeah, yeah, why not? It's good. She's part of his crew. A dagger slips out of his sleeve as he inspects the tribute's neck. There's a lot more blood there than there used to be. And he turns around and says, All yours. As he walks. Yeah, they're a lot less fun when they're dead. Mm. I don't know. I find them to be... Just as enjoyable. And with that, he lets you leave. Oh, I'm gonna be hanging around. I'm, I'm part of the crew now. No, well, he, he did ask you and, and two of the swabbies to, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'll squirt them back. Okay. Fill them in. Alright. Real copy. So... Part of the crew in so long as I can eventually poison him or something and then set the ship on fire. <laughs> Setting ships on fire is a good move. <laughs> so, I will put you back on the port of the queen. Yeah, yeah, no, there you go. So, uh, ooh, 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 you guys have to return to, uh, Herr Sonato. What do you tell Mr. Sonato? Do we still have the... the body? Yes, I'm assuming you take that with you. Alright, I Why think not? I'm gonna cover for the pirate and say that this was the pirate captain. Ooh, nice play. Roll deception at advantage. Beautiful. He believes you immediately. And he says, I haven't heard them downstairs. You've done marvelous work. And you even brought back the ship. I was so worried that you would bring it back with holes in it or something. It's worth just as much now as it was the moment I let it into your hands. I'm so proud of you. Wait, were we allowed to poke holes into it? No. <laughs> no, you were oh. told not to, very explicitly. But thank you for asking. Yay, Charterists. You guys truly are heroes in the city. And, uh, you know, I'm rooting for you. And financially backing you. So keep doing the good work. Speaking of financially backing, um... Yes, yes, you do seem to... 
get more financial backing from me, the more you see me. How about that? Uh, on account of you were fighting pirates, and I'm assuming you took some, something from them uh, in the process. Uh, 25 gold each sound fair to you? I don't know. Risking our lives doesn't seem quite fair. Especially on a... I mean, we, we brought back the, the body of the captain and, you know... Like, I was in the middle of it. I came with there. my friend and then you just uh, up and came and said, help, help, come now, drop everything. It was very unfortunate fine. for my friend at the time. Fine, fine. Um, Roll me a persuasion at this point. Um, was that towards me? Or? Uh, both of you. Um, both. Yeah, both of you. I'll take the higher. Oh, I rolled with advantage by accident, but <laughs> this is 17, it's way. the same number. I yeah, I think that's probably. I mean, unless Shen, yeah. Like, okay. Out it? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. So um, he he says, oh, you're right. You're so right. Yes, you. Really risk your necks for my personal safety. I uh, highly appreciate that. Um, hundred gold each. Sound right? Huh? I give him a look, but that is fine with me. That is very good. <laughs> yes. I'm. I'm. Festus is very, very okay with that. Yes, you guys each get it 100. I mean, personally, I was hoping. Oh. Thanks for your your audio cut out for a second. Some yeah, we didn't catch that. Uh, more interesting bartering, but. Oh, bartering! You say? Well, you do know that I. Am... Uh, uh, this will do. Oh, no. fair enough. I'll give you the gold, but you do know that in the future, should you so desire. I am amenable to other arrangements than monetary ones. I am, after all, a shipping magnate. I have a lot of sway. I think he's flirting with you. Uh, I can definitely discuss this later. <laughs> <laughs> he, he does. He does give you that. I'm flirting with you. Look, no, I'm just kidding. And, well, the best probably. thing about playing an old man character is that no NPCs will ever flirt with you. I don't know the uh, the harpy ma the harpy mansion. I I kinda, disagree. It's kind of actually pretty uh, pretty interesting. <laughs> the one that I like <laughs> probably dropped. No, you definitely killed her. She she oh, okay. she, she dead. There's more than one ha harpy matron, but damn. Yeah. Slaughtered uh, the shit yeah. of that one. <laughs> Wonderful job. Yes. No. Enemy spotted. So uh, he would say, "Thank you so much. You've done a, a marvelous job." And you can see. Uh, this face peering out from the window. She opens her eyes. You wish she had. And then she turns around. I wave and smile at her. The void waves and smiles back at you. <laughs> I'm literally just gonna turn this character into a fucking eldritch abomination. <laughs> because I Are you saying you haven't this. already? Is she an Eldritch Abomination? Is this Wednesday? Who knows? But hey! It would be really fun to just have, like, conversations with her and Neho. <laughs> you guys know she speaks that. Yeah. Me too. Same hat. So, I'm assuming that at some point, Hair Dead Love, you do part ways with the pirate crew members that uh, um, accompanied you. In some sort of way. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, so the plan is is to like stick around with the ship long enough for me to work my way in, mm -hmm. right? And then, depending on what I find out, what the treasure is poison buddy, set the ship on fire, something along that line. Interesting. Interesting. Wow. Hey. All you have a you have a a good in next time. It's my turn to shine on Wednesday because this is definitely what I intend to continue working on so yeah no you, you would have a leg up uh in in uh 
those regards uh, in the future. All right, so with that, uh, I say it is the end of the session. Let's get into feedback. Who wants to go first? Who's leaving first? I'll go second. Okay. Who's going first? Well, not everyone's yelling to go at first, first all at once. I shall go. Uh, like, uh, much like with Lee, I, I enjoy the absurdity that you guys allow me to get up to. What with the, you know, the, the Assassin's Creed style rope shenanigans, for example, or, uh, <laughs> Or, or, or my, my could have been pirate wife, you know. <laughs> what a pity. It was uh, to be. Yeah, right. Uh, she dead. It, it's okay. There's still that tiefling and that criminal organization he has, and and uh, he may, and the shrine maiden upstairs. But one, one of them will say yes eventually. Anyway, uh, dislike it. Uh, mm -hmm. Pacing was an issue. I agree to that. It, it was. It had like a slow vibe to it. Yeah. Uh, although I, lo I loved the combat, but otherwise there was just like this weird slow vibe to the, the session. Uh, as for want to see more of, well, since I'm going to be playing crew for a while, I definitely want to see more of that ship and that captain. Well, you will. They they are on my hit list now, so. Because they're going to go back, right? So we didn't technically do the job. They're going to come back, for sure. <laughs> that, yeah. That's me. All right. Well, thank you very much. Um, all right. So let's get Elizabeth. What did you like? What did you like? And what do you want to see more? I liked um, the combat. I, I thought it was really... Oh. Wait, I didn't, I didn't actually... Uh, my answer before I answered. Um, I the combat was all right, but that's not what was really stand out this session. Um, sure, I'm almost done. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I liked the um, the way that the story has progressed and how we've been to that cave three times now. We still haven't gotten the treasure, and now there's all these other like groups that are trying to get it mm -hmm. and it's really like really interesting and, and like exciting to see what it actually is, there is and actually a tra I've, I've had it since the very well i mean i had it in the first one but like you know i definitely have had it since the second one right no i wasn't saying that there might not be one i was saying that I, i'm just excited to like finally reach that like climax where there's like there's the the um harpies and the pirates and the chartists and possibly other pirate factions that are all vying for this one kind of like thing and that's just like so cool to me that this is like the this like centerpiece to all of this entry uh something that i didn't like was uh Um, I don't, I don't really think there was anything that I, that I specifically disliked about the session. Um, sorry, I'm thinking. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Uh, I don't really think there's anything that I that I specifically disliked, um, and I would like to see more of um, like decisions, like choosing between Jasper and the other pirate, and I forget her name now. Sheila. Sheila, choosing between like, oh, who who should I sh side with? Who who am I going to kind of like? go along with and yeah it, it felt like there were decisions that all of us made this session that actually like impacted the way that it played out and that felt really really 
genuinely, yeah. Yeah, like, um, gratifying and good. Well, alright. I'm very happy to hear that. Okay. Alright. Thank you very much. And shit. Well, Nah. What did you like? what did uh, you like? I definitely agree with both of you. Uh, um, how many points? I liked. I liked how. Oh, oh come up with. Um, Sorry, your auto's audio is kind of coming in and out. Let me turn the music off. Maybe that might at least make it clear. Hello, hello. Hello, hi. Okay. Um. Uh, agree with uh, both of them on many points definitely like oh you're always accepting and encouraging of uh the weird and like a lot of times awkwardly angled things that i suggest and ask for um I think and yeah, I, really I definitely like do like how um i i did mean it when i said that every action that happens made me more conflicted and uh, that is just amazing um especially since like oh yeah i'm on board with this original plan oh but this next option is coming up oh there's a third option there are so many things that we could do at this point we don't even know ourselves and that's i to me is really good storytelling <laughs> thank you what didn't you like? um I also agree the pacing seemed a little slow, but it wasn't a a bad slow per se. It felt like it was a little offbeat more than slow. Yeah. I agree with you. I, I had been feeling that in the beginning too, especially. Um things I wanna see more of. I'm actually interested in the uh first mate of the pirate ship. Because uh, it was specified that she was a different race and uh, apparently had some significance since um, Sheila like gunned her down mm -hmm. instead of you know anyone else. Yeah, there was backstory there. Yeah. Um. But yeah, my character is definitely interested in anything that stands out or unusual. So, my character's definitely interested in her and uh, what she's about and what she might do. Here's the seeing. Well, thank you guys for coming out. I had a blast and I hope you did too. And I know we don't have all that many viewers tonight. I was watching a little bit or got maybe like five or six. But thank you all for coming out. Um, I really love the shit out of all of you guys. <laughs> So, um, yeah, no, please. Um, oh, goodness, my browser encountered an error. I think that might just be on my end. Anyway, though, thank you guys for coming out. Um, Lee, why don't you send us off to somebody, and uh, we will be uh, we'll be out. Yeah, yeah, yeah raining time. Raining time. Thank you guys for coming out. Good night. Good night. Bye. All right, we're raiding Kent Weebs. See you soon. Okay, I'm gonna hit that end stream as soon as we hit the raid now. Woo!